Gathered throng. Uh, it is I, your internet friend, Jeffrey K. Horcrims. Uh, I am, of course, I at least if you were here about an hour ago, <laughs> you might have seen the same mortals, but in a slightly different configuration. I have seated the head of the table uh, to Rob Schwab uh, of Shadow of the Demon Lord fame, but also lots of other fames. If a book has a, if a book that's in the role-playing continuum has a certain level of spookiness, there's a, a, a reasonable chance uh, that Mr. Schwab uh, was connected with it in some way. He is aided and abetted in these terrifying ordeals um, by his co-conspirators, uh, Chris Premis uh, and Nicole Lindrews uh, of Green Ronin Games, uh, which as I've suggested multi times, uh, is a true pillar of the indie role-playing scene. Now, so tell me about these shadows and these demon lords. Okay, so uh, Shadow of the Demon Lord is a horror fantasy role-playing game set in uh, at the very end of time. Uh, yes. <laughs> Available in hardback and in uh, softback. Yeah, see? Uh, so, uh, I bet it. Yeah. Right. Uh, so the premise is you're playing in battled heroes or villains or whatever else who are struggling to survive as everything's kind of falling apart. Uh, and the Demon Lord is just a, a kind of a stand-in name for whatever region. I mean, he might be called the Hunger in the Void, or Abaddon the Destroyer, sure, sure. or uh, the, the, the Whisperer in the Dark, whatever. Now, are all those things true? Uh, like, does the, does the Demon Lord actually have a bunch of, uh, like, manifest in a bunch of different he, ways? You don't really ever hang out with this guy. <laughs> uh, instead, what happens is, as reality starts to fray, uh, demons are then loosed into the world. I see. Demons are unformed substance, and but once they go into a reality, they are oh, subject to the rules into of that right. physics. Yeah, okay. And they assume all sorts of random forms. I don't, do we have the mature tag on? Because I just got to know. Uh, yes, I think yes. we do. Yes, okay. We got a thumbs up on mature. All right. Yeah. So you might have a <laughs> demon that shows up as, as I talked about it earlier at yeah. the free thing, but it might be this gigantic crocodilian monster made of glass and filled with Classic. eyeballs. Yeah. And or it might be the typical horned dude, or it could be this fleet of cocks that are all kind of connected by these uh, stretched nerve endings mm -hmm. that are flapping through the wind the cock as they're coming at you. Hold on, and this could be generated by a table. It's usually yeah. They're, they're in the Hunger <laughs> the Void book. There's. Tons of tables. It's like a, a psychic cock mesh. Yes. Mm. All right. Okay. All right. I, th I think I understand what I'm getting into now, but I. I you I know that's be, a metal band somewhere. Right. Cock, cock mesh. Yeah. So the psychic cock mesh. <laughs> I had a couple design goals for this game. One yeah. was to uh, deal with my id. Two was to create a game that I could run while drunk. And uh, a, a three, to compress it all down so you can play a full campaign in a reasonable amount of time. So oh, how the game works cool. is that every time you play, your group gains a level. <clears throat> and it caps off oh, at level out. 10. So you can finish a campaign after about 44 hours oh, of gameplay. Oh, fun, play. yeah, okay. Okay, so that was the whole idea, was to tell complete stories. stories. Right. And so the adventures are the things you're zooming in on that are the most important things that would happen to your characters. So you might have, like, you start your first adventure, and then you might go six months of, in the narrative, and then something else happens. And so you can, you can, you can adjust that dial as, as much as you like. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So tell me about, about drunkenness. Um, you know, you're saying, obviously, we're all enthusiasts. Sure. You were here for our other show. <laughs> but what is it that makes a game... Uh, runnable under the uh, inebriated condition? Uh, every design decision I made, if there was an easy choice as far as <laughs> how you would resolve it, uh, I went with the easy choice. The thing was, is I, I wanted to really unfuck what I thought was going on in a lot of role-playing games and get the complexity out and just focus on the action and the fun and the creative aspects of the game. So there are the recognizable elements yeah. that live in this. So you roll a d20 because <clears throat> you, know, you think a role-playing game, yeah, you're yeah. thinking a d20. <clears throat> we typically. know about that. Right. Uh, but like we don't have a whole lot of bonus you're hunting for. We scoop that all up in boons and banes. Uh, there's no initiative in combat, so you guys just get to go first on whatever phase you want. And you'll see how that plays out. Interesting. Uh, okay. And it's just, it's a game where you you just kind of go in, have a good time, and then leave without a whole lot of messing around. Okay. And you can use miniatures if you want or not. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be doing a little. This is obviously going to be a feeder of the mind kind of thing. But um, yeah, I mean that's. Yeah. This is, you know, as as I said before, like, this is this is our table. This is the table I run uh, our C team game at, and it's, I mean, very very rarely has a grid sullied, right? You know, this felt. So uh, you're definitely in good hands here. 
Well, here you go. You want to just you want to just get let's, wild? Let's fucking do it. Uh, yeah. with it. Okay, cool. And I guess I got I got to tell you, if you want to know more about Demon Lord, Occult Philosophy Kickstarter is running live right now. Oh, that's now. that's true, and yeah. I think that Jack Lemon can put that in the channel. So Sweet. All right, tell me who you are. Sing the song <clears throat> of your people. Well, uh, I am uh, Anselm. I'm the human priest of the new god. You might have heard of me. Mixtape dropping this summer. Um, sword of Astrid. So why don't you parse this for me? I mean, the only thing I know in the background role-playing section, because parts of it were generated by a table, yep. is that um, my eldest brother died in a war, and my elder sister was disgraced after she had a fling with a fairy in the woods and gave birth to a fawn. Mm. Which I-, I thought was delightful, <laughs> but that's the main thing that I know. So tell me about this new god. Okay. Uh, about a couple hundred years ago, there was this chick named Astrid, and mm-hmm. she was part of the Order of Light, which was this uh, very strong, dominant religion. But she pr- uh, talked about a new way, and she warned people against uh, performing dark acts because it would send them to hell and all this kind of stuff. So she's Classic. like a Jesus figure type thing. She's betrayed by her enemies, stabbed to death, and her body was thrown to the wild dogs. She ascended, but she revealed the path of the new god. Oh, okay, so which is like a new Astrid, covenant. so I am right. a vengeful... You are a v- uh, priest right. uh, in that tradition. Mm-hmm. I love it. Right. So I made you change characters yep. because the hook was good. Yeah, because because uh, I am Prometheus, a clockwork rogue assassin. In can you? Uh, oh, you got that here, here. I need you to no 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 lower. <laughs> There's uh, no. I need you to twi- twist key in my back. Turn the key in my back. Are right, you got it? No. You're good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. We solved it. The Clockworks are uh, mechanical people who have had so- their souls stolen from the underworld or hell and then bound oh. to the bodies. Mm. And so that gives an animation and all that other stuff. Now, do they remember their some original do, some, shit? Some, some, typically, no, but there is possibly, there on the tables you roll, you can uh, recall your professions or uh, other elements from your past life because you were snatched before you could be diverted into a new body. Coolio. Yeah. And listen here, buddy. You know, I had a little bit of an issue with my creator. A little bit of a sick fuck. Yeah. Um, listen, he designed me to uh, kill all his friends, so or enemies. It's on the table. Yeah. <laughs> but I hear you're part of this whole new god thing, and I, you know, I've. Can give it a try. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Well, listen, we have, we have place even for, uh, what, 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 even what? for your kind. Now, uh, what do we got over here? Well, uh, I am Angrist. I'm a dwarf priest of the honored dead. Uh, if I understand the situation correctly, um, the underworld has been cut off from us. Yes. Um, so I'm pretty angry about that because uh, all the, the ancestors that I'm honoring are now cut off from me. These would be the honored dead? Yeah. Dwarves uh, hold to, they believe, the dwarves have a hard time <laughs> masturbating because they think their ancestors are always watching. Uh, so they, uh, they live in the shadow of, of their forebears. Uh, there's a curse on dwarves because they once tried to build a tower to breach the gate <coughs> of heaven, sure. uh, and they were cursed to always look to their feet and to look to the ground, mm-hmm. and so they became short, stunted, monstrous things. Uh, but they uh, and they have rejected all the other religions, and they just follow their ancestors. And so, it's like all the, the one that's what this so the is. one <laughs> so the one good thing that they had going has been cut off by the uh, right, shadow. Right. Okay. <laughs> we masturbate <coughs> to make our ancestors proud. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Nicole, uh, what's what's your twisted personage? So uh, I'm Pung. I'm an orc warrior. Pung? Uh, Pung. It's the one thing worse than genocide, <laughs> according to Urban Dictionary. And uh, I, I'm seven foot eight and over three hundred pounds and scarred and grotesque and uh, my hands are cut up from all the. Face punches and teeth I've knocked out from my there's, enemies. There's, there's teeth just like still, just, yeah, little, still present yeah, in yeah. the fist. Yeah, uh, I've got a bit of a temper. Uh, I was, no. I was, I was taken from my people as a child and raised by horrible humans and enslaved, and then finally yeah. freed. And uh, basically, I do what the fuck I want, mm-hmm. and uh, and I make people pay. I have no time for cowardice, and um, I worship the dark gods. Of Oops. course. Okay, well, this That's is going to be a very interesting... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is going to be a, a very sophisticated uh, social space. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. All right. 
you devil. <laughs> so you guys are your group level six. So you're 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 fairly experienced. Um, you're, so that's the GL yeah. stat I see here. You okay. are in the the midst of your you're in the last adventure of your expert path. Uh, how it works every time you have four points during character development, you get to make these big meaningful choices. So at level uh, when your group level hits one, you guys to choose your novice path. Then you get to choose your expert path at level three, and then at level seven you choose your master path. And these can either reinforce your a previous decision you made, or they can take you in a completely different direction. Um, so as you can see, like your character says, human, which is what you were, a starting character, yeah. a priest of a new god, which is your novice path, yeah. and so on. Oh, and then sort of asterisk is... Is your, is your uh, expert path. A bigger choice. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you can freely mix and match. So if you wanted to be a priest and go into, be, into murder, you could do that. Mm -hmm. Go to necromancy and wrap it up. It might up. still you, happen. It, it could still happen. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are working uh, on behalf of, uh, of the Archmage, uh, and he is uh, heads up the Tower Arcane that floats over the burning city of Cacris. The last human emperor of, of, the, of the Empire uh, was strangled on his throne by the Orc King Drudge, and his corpse still rests at the foot of the Alabaster Throne. <laughs> <laughs> floating, Drudge, my kind of guy. Floating over the city, this, hey, this overrun by orcs and all that other terrible thing is the Tower Arcane. And you have been his agents for, for many, many months. You received a missive in the form of kind of a swirl of purplish mist and eyeballs peppered throughout. And he instructs you to go to this town of, of uh, uh, Penbrell, uh, Penbrel. which okay. is in the, uh, in the southern reaches, well, the southern lands of the northern reach. Which is a uh, far-flung province uh, to the northern part of the uh, of the empire, uh, and he wants he's sending you to this town because he believes there is a relic of incredible uh, of uh, power, but also grave danger. Uh, the world's kind of going to to shit, and so he's doing his part to try to arrest the slide into the apocalypse that's coming. This is the horror fantasy version of the old Friday the Thirteenth series. Oh yeah, <laughs> with Rose. So, so we're being sent out. To take these things off the market, right. essentially mm -hmm. speaking. All right, this is the this is a, a noble path, and obviously I support it one hundred percent. Okay, so you've been marching beneath the a <clears throat> sky that looks like it's on fire because it is on fire. Uh, <laughs> the roiling balls of flame, the smoke, the air, cinders are falling. You see the lands; uh, it's just getting it's been getting progressively worse. The dead are walking everywhere. They're not really messing with you too much because you're just badasses enough that They're you can... They're just ambient? <clears throat> just... Like, it's just... Okay, so this is, this is the function of the, of the hell or whatever. It's wherever souls go being cut off. Mm -hmm. You're saying that it's They're just bouncing like, back. It's just like everywhere you go, you're just like ass deep and fucking... And dead. Zomboids. Yeah. All right. So you've been marching across the northern reach, and you've you've seen uh, various uh, various towns that are that have been burned down to skeletal uh, husks, uh, having been overrun by the dead. Uh, there are places where brig you've seen brigands uh, herding up uh, uh, human slaves uh, to be sold in the nine cities to the uh, southeast. You see all sorts of atrocities, but you have your mission, which is to go to this podunk little shithole town and figure out where this thing is. Go to the museum, right in the museum, yeah. of course. <laughs> So after after several weeks of this this nonsense, you have uh, the fire is somewhat abated in the sky, and, and you see that uh, it's ne the sky is kind of this just dark, smoky uh, expanse, uh, and it's still cinders are falling. And ahead, you see uh, this small village, clustered buildings. It's almost like uh, some stupid kid grabbed a bunch of blocks and it's dropped just them. Just random. It's just random, all piled on top of each other, higgledy piggledy, whatever. So it's Seattle. <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, yeah. You see paths worming their way through. Uh, the, from the out, the buildings that are close, you see open doors and open windows, but no one seems to be about. Uh, standing at the center of town is a great stone temple. Uh, you recognize the symbol of the new god has been uh, carved into its face because it's a serpent eating its tail. And but it, the, there's something odd about this temple. It, it, for a moment, it looks like a, a, an old man crouching down with the, the doors would be fitting into his mouth. With that craw. Yeah, with a, yeah, and it just, it's brooding on top of this, on top of this hill. You hear a dog bark. You hear a child's laugh coming from somewhere ahead. You're about 30 yards away from this rundown community. But uh, was this community the target or on the way to the target? This is a, this is a, this is the target. This is the target. You think the relic okay. was supposed to be somewhere in this community. Okay. Uh, do we know what the relic is called? Uh, it is uh, the disc of Ancelith, 
Uh, and it is a, it was ascribed to you as a dinner plate size, uh, the discus of metal, uh, and is uh, carved with a serpent, a winged serpent in the center. Okay. Well, Quattle. Yeah. Every opportunity I have to say Quetzalcoatl, I do it. You should. <laughs> but once you it's learn it, like, it's, uh... this is how I've managed to stay so young. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, did they say? Did our patrons say what the disc of Anselith is capable of? Uh, he says, uh, "Do not get it wet, or feed it after midnight." Do not feed it after midnight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's like okay, we're talking about a plate that eats this. Some, Nested irony here, but it has, uh, but it does have a tendency to disturb reality around it. So he also gave you uh, a metal box oh, thank God. that's uh, made of lead and is inscribed with all these strange glyphs. Uh, and you've not opened the box yet, but uh, you have this box to put the thing in. Yeah, and some ch- ha- handy chains to wrap around it. All right, oh, chains. Are the chains also magical? Um, uh, sure, yeah, they, they seem like also, they, they, Let's yeah. have magical chains on the magical lead box. Yeah, I think that works. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's why they sent us, because they're not fucking around. No, yeah. no, no, it's not, there's another fucking around crew. No. So, um, do I know, like, looking over, thinking about what time it is during the day, does it seem like this temple is in operation? I mean, as a priest of the new god, it seems like I'd sort of know what the schedule is. Uh, there would probably not be a service at this time on this particular day, but uh, in maybe a, in about two days they would have uh, the, the the dawn service. Is it is it up, is it kept up? Like is it from what you can tell, uh, it does look like it is somewhat. It is in good repair. There are no missing parts to the walls. The roof is intact. There is some soot on the side, but that's to be expected. To be with, expected with with the sky how it is. Right, um, but it's just weird that you don't see anybody about. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Is there a is there a song or anything that would be a classic uh, call people into the church? Um, trying to think of a song titled by Mayhem, like, a, like, uh, a, yeah. <clears throat> like some some kind of a hymn or something like that. Yeah, the sure there sure yeah. would be. Yeah. So as as we're as we're moving from the outskirts to what I'm going to call the inskirts, um, let's say uh, I'm going to start that up just in the hopes that that's the sort of thing that rouses this. So you want to bring more demons to the this community? I'm not. Listen, I'm not <laughs> afraid of a demon. All right. So you're singing onward, Christian soldiers, and yeah, we're exactly. marching off to war. Uh, all right. What are the rest of you guys doing? Um, well, I, as we march towards the center, I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled on these uh, empty doorways and windows. Make sure no one's trying to ambush us okay. or anything like that. Uh, I've got good eyesight, yeah. shadow sight, right? I dark sight, dark sight. Yeah. So no I'm going to. I'm going to be, you know, getting a peek into the doorways okay. as much as I can. See, you know, did people leave in a hurry or... Good call, but all this right. Is good. I'm going to be, since, since I am... Um, a murder robot? Murder robot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I but, but I am reluctantly turning to the new god. So I'm going to try and learn the hymn that you're singing. And I'm going to march <laughs> mechanically beside you. <laughs> all right. And so this whenever, is a sight. Whenever there's a whenever there's a pitch problem, I, I'm gentle okay. about resolving it. All right. So you, you guys are singing and, and marching. You think? Listen, I got I have perfect pitch. <laughs> uh, you're following along, and uh, you're both kind of looking into doors. Uh, uh, Pong, you you see in the first building you pass that there is a, there's a table and there are some plates mm. and there's some food on it. Mm. Uh, you don't there, it, that's, and you see it looks like the place was just kind of abandoned. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you're going, you see a lot of the same kind of thing on the other side, but of particular note is a dirty faced child mm. uh, standing in the gap between two small houses. Uh, she's carrying something furry that's dripping blood and broken. Mm. Okay, and her head's kind of cocked to the side. Is she? Oh no, dude, dead? Is children in a porn <laughs> situation. <laughs> Is she dead, like a zombie? No, she well, she she's uh, she reaches into up and starts pushing her finger into her nose to fish out whatever's up there. Yeah. Product. Mm. You there, small human? <laughs> what happened here? She gestures with uh, she she gestures with the the furry thing and says, "We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you." And she runs away. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Pitter patter of little mm-hmm. feet. 
Should have right. wiped out humanity when they first showed up. <laughs> the second they got here. Mm-hmm. Not all humans. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> uh, I mean, I, I know exactly what my purpose is here. My purpose is to call the faithful to the to the uh, temple. <clears throat> oh, no, no. no you, you, can, you can... Be careful. You can stand wherever you want to. You need not, you need not enter this holy place. Oh, was it going to... Uh, <laughs> There's just uh, some, you know, bloodthirsty children, and uh, somebody's going to get you. These are. There's probably nobody we want to call to the center. Well, of town. these these children uh, are. It sounds as though they're uh, in more need uh, of the new God's words uh, than perhaps than ever before. You hear a loud ringing noise coming from the temple. Uh, it just kind of it, 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 it's, it's a it feels like you're walking through mayonnaise for a second. It just kind the of bell? the bell the bell sound just yeah, exactly. runs right through your body and then passes. It's a sea pump. That glorious music. Reality distorting magic item. I think is what this is. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not be too hasty. How long we been? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hasty me my middle name. Uh, yeah. <laughs> keep going. All right, so you keep pressing down through the main road, the main thoroughfare through the community. Uh, you see more signs of hasty departure. Uh, you don't see any signs of struggle, except in a few places where you see a discarded foot, uh, another dead animal. Mm-hmm. Um, you, wait, do you mean like a shoe or like <laughs> no, it's just a foot? Just a foot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of shoot. bone up. Yeah. Like, a little bone there. coming, yeah. stabbing, or broken bone. You said discarded, like it was just tossed aside. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't like, need this foot. Well, there's yeah. probably like a foot truck was coming through, <laughs> and like yeah. a foot just like, <laughs> it happens. Uh, it happens. Yeah. Off, yeah. yeah, it fucking happened. But as you're, as you're walking by, you see two children come out dressed in rags, uh-huh. and they grab the foot, and they're fighting over it. Mm-hmm. And then one prize it from the, the hand to the other. Jesus Christ! Takes it off. <laughs> New God. Yeah. I want to see where these kids are <laughs> taking their bloody is, sacrifices. This temple is just going to have like a like a giant mass of bodies all sewn together inside or something like that. No, this, this <laughs> is gonna, another me. The temple itself is going to lurch up onto its haunches <laughs> yeah. and skitter away. That, that's that's my call. All right. Solid. What are you, you going to continue on? Uh, <clears throat> I'm interested in figuring out where these children are taking their bloody sacrifices. Carry on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, do you want to go to take the kid off down down the side? Yeah. Side, right. Yeah. yeah the, in between the, right, so <laughs> the little thing. turn down. sideways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a shitty. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Okay, so you head down a side street, and uh, anybody going with you? <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> well, send the... Well, send where am I else going to get to beat up people if I don't find them? Send the incredibly tough uh, orc. Okay, so you are yep. you, you head off down that way. You guys Perfect. waiting, or are you going to continue on? Um, I'm right. Are you yeah, up yeah. on the temple I'll, steps? I'll, I'll wait at the crack. Yeah. Okay. Here. Oh, oh, we're all at that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll I'll, I'll sing a few, uh, but it's gonna it's gonna get quieter and quieter, and eventually the verses are just like a couple words. Okay. Can I try and uh, almost do like a, a running scale up the uh, alley? You know, walls, uh, and then hook onto the back of Pung. Sure, yeah, if Pung's willing. <laughs> so I, I told you not when I'm working. <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So the little robot dude is hanging on your back. All right. <laughs> and you have, and you're both going down this 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 crease uh, between these two buildings, and you see that some of the sod is falling off. Uh, some of it's even smoking as uh, as it's catch, catching fire from the cinders that are falling. You round the corner and you find an opening. And there in this opening is a well. Uh, and there are more alleys that kind of come off in different directions. Uh, you see three children, and one is chewing on the foot that mm-hmm. it just stole. The other two were were kind of circling this the third, but they all three stop what they're doing and watch you and you with interest. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the kids has... Uh, has a pigtail. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, the side pony. The side pony, but the other one is all has been burned off. Oh. Ah. Uh, the other kid is a little boy, uh, and he has a mouthful of. It looks Foot. like he's been. <laughs> it looks like he's been taking twigs and just jamming them into his gum, <clears throat> so ah. for teeth. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the third is uh, maybe a fourteen-year-old girl, and she's carrying a really nasty-looking cleaver. And she says, "Have you come to play?" Oh, oh. I've come to play. 
and it, I kind of like lean down as I'm uh, to hunker down, hunker down on Pung's back, and I go to the side, one ear, and I say, "Let's kill him," <laughs> and then go to the other side. We we have to save these children. <laughs> we have to save these children from themselves. From themselves. <sighs> Rock paper scissors. So because it's you, and this is Demon Lord, when you said she had a pigtail, I thought literally a pig's tail. <laughs> <laughs> we kill him! All right. Uh, so we're, we're, we're in a fight. Uh, fights unfold in rounds that have three parts. Fast, slow, and then the end of the round, which Perfect. is clean it phase. Fast, slow? Yep. So if you go fast, you can do one of two things in your turn. You can use an action, or you can move up to your speed. You can also charge, which allows you to move your speed and attack, but you have banes in your rolls when you attack. If you go the, then if you go slow, you can do two things in your turn, move up to your speed and use an action. So what happens is, I will say you guys can take your turns in whatever order you want. You can talk to each other, strategize, mm-hmm. whatever, whatever the hell you want to do. Once you're done, it goes to me, and I get to take fast turns for my, my dudes. Then it goes yeah. back to you for slow, it goes to me, and then we wrap up and we have a new round. Weird. Cool. <laughs> so, fast turns. All right. I... Uh, you are not close enough to strike one. Okay. Can, I, can, can Pung launch me? Like Wolverine style? Yes. <laughs> and just I can come down this. with daggers using um, either dirty trickery or dirty tricks. Is that how you that? You can use both of them. Ooh. I'm game. I'm pretty strong, so uh, fling you. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's a dwarf tossing. For a couple <laughs> reasons. Yeah. Right? All right. So <laughs> you're going to just. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, you chuck the clockwork. Uh, give me a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, give me a strength roll, and you're going against their defense, which is going to be pretty low. So. Oh, uh, 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 roll to 12. Uh, d- treat him as a weapon, so roll it with a boon. So <laughs> okay. A, so 12 becomes oh, a 13. Perfect. Perfect. You, can defense roll, 13. you can roll oh. in here, and uh, our friends can see it. I had intended to, but I got carried away <clears throat> oh, no, up in the action. Uh, Invigorated. Next, next time. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you accurately chuck the, the clockwork, who's now <laughs> flailing through the air, We've been working together for a I while. Know, we're right. working on yeah, this. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a we're, routine. We're to which target were you throwing the clockwork? Yeah. Uh, I assume that they were standing yeah. uh, in a little cluster. So. But we've got foot. We've got uh, pl- the playgirl, uh, and then we have tooth, uh, mm-hmm. twig, twig teeth. We'll yeah. call okay. Them that. And I just lean down and say your choice. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, twig teeth. All right. So you're going at twig teeth, and his eyes widen in surprise. But as they do widen, you notice that they start turning black. And then uh, so the similar colored filth starts leaking out of his mouth. Uh, he's frightening, so you need to give me a will roll. Okay. You want to look for a target number of 10. Okay, just on a d20? Mm-hmm. Add your will modifier to it. All right. <laughs> yeah, so that's a seven. Okay, so you are frightened uh, of this guy. So <laughs> of gonna, this but, gross But you were flying out of the air! This is not what I signed up for! <laughs> All right, so you're and you, you drop your bolts and, and screws back yeah. behind you. Yeah, uh, you, I, you actually just see my jaw drop and one of it unhinges as a. Mu- <laughs> so you're gonna make your attack roll with one bane. Okay, but you don't forget your trickery, which lets you add a boon. Which yep, it adds. A, yeah, it adds one boon. Um, so those cancel out. Right, right they oh, would cancel okay. out. But uh, all your extra damage comes from having at least one boon. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, if you go. use trickery on attack roll, it deals one. One d six extra damage, but with the one boon. Um, mm-hmm. Dirty tricks allows me one d six extra damage when you make with an attack roll. Mm-hmm. That's cool. But if they cancel out, they yeah, do they, some they other just, factor. Straight, just your straight weapon. And you don't get any yep. of your goodies. Right. Okay. So Go. what? What am I? Okay, it's an eleven. Eleven, and you're gonna add your uh, agility modifier to that. So, so I'm at fourteen. Mm-hmm. Fourteen. That is gonna be enough to strike twig teeth. Ah, Give me twig some damage. Teeth. Okay. And don't add anything to your damage. Just roll the die. Congrats, so you stabbed daggers. a child. <laughs> <laughs> it was a filthy uh, fucking child. Agility with one boon, no. I so suppose. or one d three and a two d six with trickery. Cool. So, so it's right? one d yeah yeah. So it's one d three damage. Yep. But since you can't use trickery. Wow, trickery's most of the damage off of that, huh? Mm. Yep. Wow. Rogues are all about getting into position and all exactly. That stuff, so, right? so basically, he gets the base one d three damage. That's it. Because oh, he didn't okay. have any, any goodies. So, th- three, uh, two points of damage. Okay. Uh, so, twig teeth is two, and I'm just going to give you a, a, a tip. Try uh, don't uh, dep- don't deplete your health. Add up to your health because health can get bonuses or penalties, which means you can take more or less damage. Oh, so and, and so that keep- number will just continue to rise. Right. So you just want to keep your health as a fi- as a constant and just accumulate damage. 
So, it's so, like getting baskets of dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just stab, uh, what's his name? Right, so you bring that blade down into the little boy's body, and, and where it does, you see maggots start boiling up out of the wound uh, as you drop to the ground in front of him. Yeah. The boy has a weird lopsided grin that goes almost so far, the top of his head should slide off. You and, guys have all taken your fast turns. And I just look at Pong, and like I look back at Pong, and my jaw just <laughs> falls off to the side. You gotta fix it. You gotta fix it. Clock it back up. It's been a problem. <laughs> yeah. So you're frightened for a number of rounds. Yeah. The one equal to your insanity plus your, insan your insanity total. You might not okay. have any insanity. Yeah, I don't have any insanity. All right, so just one round. Yep. Normally, what frighten would prevent you from taking a fast turn, but because you've already done that and you were cool. midair, you're, it, the effect ends at the end of this round. Cool. All right, so my fast turns. Twig Teeth is going to mutilate your face. <laughs> uh, so yes. Twig Teeth is a little bitty monster, mm. and that Ooh. is a 25. Oh. Rolling like Schwab always does. <laughs> uh, so that's 25 and change. So you're going to take anti -priest. Yeah. Uh, two damage okay. as his twig teeth uh, bury themselves uh, into the metal part thigh. of your thigh. Uh, and you just hear the twigs break and crack. crack, crack. And the more that black slime comes pouring out of its mouth. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. The other two are going to wait till slow because they want to move mm -hmm. after you thinking that you are an easy target. You guys are uh, seeing this, but you can jump in the fight next round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if I, you wish to. I think I think it's a good idea. You yeah. heard my characteristic battle cry. Well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know I know that I know that we've we've moved to the next phase. Right. All right, so slow turns are up, so my guys get to move and use an action. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna move around this little scrum mm -hmm. and engage you. So the first attack against you, this is the one with, uh, this is a girl with a cleaver? cleaver, and she is going to go for your body. Nice. Uh, that is an 18 plus two is a 20 defense. And that's uh, uh, my, uh, against? Uh, uh, your, just your defense, which my is? Defense. Oh, there it is, uh, 16, you got All me. Right. Take five damage, the cleaver finds oh. itself uh, in your side, uh, and she sinks it in like she's hitting a side of beef, and wrenches it out. Uh, and she breaks wind as she does because it takes so much effort to pull it out of your body. But, but, but I assume that that's just funny for the rest of them, right? <laughs> right, the other, kid, the other kid with a foot in his time, mouth is just giggling. <laughs> you made a poo! And here it's we a, go. It's a bizarre experience. Uh, that's going to be a 17, which is Ooh, still enough. Yep. So you take another six. The Demon Lord favors you for six damage. Uh, Hail the Demon Lord. All right. We are now down to the end of the round. Nobody has any ongoing effects. You shake off the fear and you find your courage once again. I, I, I tighten the bolt on my jaw, push it back into place. You guys I'm are about 10 yards out of the mix. Okay. So, you, so just so that's so for let you know how far you need to go. And so movement happens during the slow turn. It can ha you can either you can just move on fast if you wanted to, okay. or you can wait till slow move and do something when you get there. There we go. All right, so we're on fast turns. You guys are in, in the scrum, so you guys can do your fighty fights. Yep. I'm just. Shanking right up. Do it. At, um, now, can I still? I can just. I'm just going to be wanting to use um, trickery like all the time on this. Right. right you here. should always be rolling a boon. Okay. And once your priest boy gets there, he can start using prayer to also help you out with that as well. Okay. So 15 plus. Is that uh, the, it's the one? Or is that That's a six? six? That's a six. Okay. 21. The number of the beast. 21 is a hit, and that is a hit by five. Does that trigger mm. anything? Okay. Uh, I believe you have exploit opportunity. Uh, yep. Once per round, when a total of your attack roll is 20 or higher and exceeds the target number by at least five, you can take another turn at any point before the end of the round. That's mm. awesome. You should just keep doing it. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, does dirty tricks come into play too? Yep. Okay. They all stack. Yep. So dirty, you have trickery and dirty tricks? And yep. dirty tricks. Wow. Yeah. Dirty tricks comes on as a higher feature. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, so am I rolling for damage now or am I going to roll? You're going to roll for damage. Okay. And remember, you exploit opportunity is something you only use once per round. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll exploit opportunity right after I roll. Sure. First damage, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so 1d6 for that. Um, so an extra 2d6 plus the 1d3, right? Yep. So there's the d3, which is going to be three points of damage and another four points of damage. All right. Jeez. And we're going to... Exploit this opportunity. You have to. You have no you, choice. You just see the key start to rapidly turn quickly in my back. <laughs> like 24. Oh, hail Satan. Nice. Oh. Oh, that's a dark lord. Oh. All right. All so right. this is gruesome. Uh, yep. Do you use trickery twice per round? Yeah, you use trickery twice yeah, per round. I, yep. So that means you also get to kick off all that extra damage you get. <laughs> that's awesome. So two points of damage plus another seven, nine, another nine points of damage. Yeah, beautiful. I, mean, I have thirty-seven total. Yeah. So I suspect that these twig children 
<laughs> probably. I'm just maniacally laughing as I'm screaming. You, you turn this thing into, into ground meat, and yeah. it falls back, and it's kicking its feet as blood pools around it. Uh, you see that those maggots are coming out of the wound. Uh, you see the source of those maggots. There's this bloated bottle fl- uh, blue bottle fly that's buried in the, in the, oh, in the no. depths. And it's no, been, just bug. been pooping out these, the eggs all inside the middle, and it flies away, and as it does, <laughs> it, makes a, it makes kind of a low, rumbly laughter. As it flutters through the air. What? It's happy. It's a. It's a. It's a happy, gross bug. Yeah. <laughs> Got some nurgle shit happening. Here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so you've gone and done all your madness. It is now Pung's turn. Bring on the metal. Pung. Pung is angry. Mm-hmm. Pung has taken damage, giving my rising yep. fury. Mm-hmm. The rising fury. When I take damage, my next attack roll before the end of the next round is one boom. So that's on top of your other your other awesome. Yeah. So, bring the pain. Uh, yeah, I'm um, sticking a sword through this little. The girl? The girl. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll start with her. Although he actually <laughs> damaged me worse with his foot attack. I don't know what, what that was. With a but, probing finger. That was his but, attack. But I cannot deny that there's a cleaver in my side. And right. Blood sheeting down your yeah. side. It's just nasty. You have to contend with that. <laughs> you, have process, you have to process right. it. <laughs> uh, do you have you have a, a, a combat expertise, right? Which lets you make an extra attack, or you can spike your damage. Uh, yeah. So you can do your first. If so, yeah. Go ahead. So uh, do I roll two? Yep. And you take you add the highest boon. Three? That's great. Uh, it's a fourteen. Fourteen. So that's going to be plenty to hit. Uh, so pile on that damage. You've got a ton, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Strength with one boon against defense, uh, 2d6 plus 2 damage, or 3d6 plus 2 damage against an injured target. Uh, this so target is this not is injured yet. 2d6 plus 2. Okay. Eight. Good God. Eight. All right. Ten. So this is playtime, girl. So 10 total. Now, you could choose to make another attack against Footboy mm-hmm. and do the whole thing over again, or you could just apply an extra d6 of damage to her. Your choice. Oh, that's no. interesting. I'm going for it. Six. Ah, remember the fucking beast. All right, so you <laughs> cut this girl's head right off, and it <laughs> sails over the battlefield, sprinkling blood and over end over end till it falls into well with a splash. Uh, coming oh, up oh, out that's, of the that's neck. Bad. Get, get it out of the. Coming up out of the neck is this throbbing, worm-like thing covered with knotty warts and veins, and it's got a weird uh, kind of flat mouth at the end. Coming out of the neck, and it forces his way out. And it gets bigger and bigger, and it falls out to the ground, and then breaks apart into oh, in, in, into oh. just vomit-inducing nonsense juice, mm. and that's what you see. All right, so she's down on the ground dead. <laughs> uh, you guys, do you want to take fast turns, or do you want to wait till slow? I'm gonna wait for slow. Yeah, wait for slow. All right, wait for slow. Mm. Wait for slow. All right, so the foot creature, this terrible bastard, is like. <laughs> uh, and he's uh, he shits his pants and then runs away. That's going to give you a free attack on him because you can use a trigger to actually do it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Well, because it's it's like the it's a waddle, right? I love it. That's well, a six. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen is enough. Uh, I think you got plus it. Plus six. So 19. oh yeah, 19. Oh, 19. oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Yeah. yeah. You uh, you strike this kid. Give him uh, give me some damage. Two six plus two. <laughs> I've, already, I've already forgotten so what I'm much. doing. Five more. Five more. All right. So this kid is is he's not injured yet, but uh, he's sporting a nice new nice new scar on his back if he survives the other day. But he he starts crying, and it's this sad, heart wrenching noise to any normal people, not you, hardened, cynical, jaded oh. people who. But, have, the, but it's yeah. But it's from oh, I heard plenty of crying in this life, hence. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm saying that for, from everything else that we've seen, this. Uh, this crying is almost certainly just some ruse, <laughs> right? right? I love your insight. That's why we're together. Clang! You hear that echo out over the village again. Mm. And, and with a physical... Physical this presence. Main, this is the mayonnaise thing? Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it coming from... The temple. The temple, okay. All right. Well. All right, so do we want to... I'm just trying to think. Do we want to leave this, this thing run around? This is going to come back and lay some kind of egg in our... <laughs> Nostril, right? I mean, that's the whole deal. I'm kind of concerned about what's happening inside the ritual mm-hmm. hut or whatever yeah, it is. I was going to say, I mean, a, a crossbow shot would be handy. I have a rifle. Oops, I, did, I just did that. Oh, that's right. Uh, he's, they, just, they wanted to know if Green Ronin right. was going to do any Shadow of the Demon Lord stuff. Oh. 
Uh, We've partnered on that once with uh, with Freeport. Mm, we yeah, brought we uh, Freeport out under the, with the, the Demon Lord rule set. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, very cool. We we spent time in Freeport as well. We're the liquor board. Yes, <laughs> liquor board. That was, that was the <laughs> least the best. We had a good time with the liquor board. Yeah, now, so, so there's, there's no opportunity for us to for, for me to get a uh, crossbow shot off on this thing. I think totally. Yeah. Even in the oh, oh as as it flips back to fast, right? Well, you can you can pull the crossbow out. And, yeah, and, and exactly. I'll have that. I actually just get it ready. Well, the kid was the kid was on running fast. So you're slow. Yeah. You can be doing all that shit while you're going down the path <coughs> and then fire when you get. Yeah, to, you, go for it. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Don't so, let me stop you, please. Yeah. <laughs> so if I want to use my crossbow, yep. I'm gonna roll the D twenty. Yep, and you're gonna add your agility modifier to it. And if you do the prey prey on yourself, self. Yeah, exactly. When you or a creature within five yards of you makes an attack roll or a challenge roll, you can use a triggered action to grant the triggering roll one boon. Right. You get one triggered action around? Yep. Is that right? Okay. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I love it. 13 plus 6, nice. which is the number of the beast. Dude, this is the this is the most satanic. <laughs> this is as satanic as we can get. We got yeah, the thirteen, yeah, yeah. and we got the six. <laughs> right now, um, so that sh it seems like that should hit. Yeah, it, it, do it does. In fact, you catch the kid. Don't even bother rolling damage. The bolt catches the kid in the back of the neck, bursts out through his throat. Uh, he makes a gurgling noise. He takes one step, two step, reaches forward, dropping the foot to the <sighs> ground. Oh, the precious foot! And falls face down into the into the dust. And cinders fall from and ashes fall from above, swirling around. Uh, uh, the board game goes to Kickstarter in March of next year. Yep. Uh, and so uh, I, I'll take this opportunity to to put the crossbow away, and then I don't want to get too close, but I'll just do the final rites from here. But it's a very fast version. Okay. It's like the really quick, like it's the travel size. Sure. Well, you're close enough to see that as you're performing the last rites. You see the little boy's hands, which are outstretched. You see each one of his fingernails blacken and then grow spider legs and struggle to tear itself free from the finger. And uh, that happens ten times, one for each finger, and each of the spiders go scuttling off into the shadows. My jaw just drops. Okay. Do I know? Have I heard about this? Is this a problem that people have? <laughs> Spider finger disease? Not that you've encountered so far. All right. Yeah, we're going... You should write this down. You could do a book later. Oh, so you say no. These, yeah, these these kids need church. <laughs> so let's let's get over there. I'm gonna give uh, Pung some healing. Oh, because, thank uh, you. Yeah, I took a bit of a hit. You did. Uh, so I'm gonna use a minor healing spell. So you get uh, heal damage equal to half your healing rate, which is right next to your health. Should right be. there. Yep. Eleven. So I get half five. of that. Round at five. So healing rate is a so there's you don't roll for healing. Not this usually. Because remember, drunk. Drunk. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yep. yep. So healing rate is just a is a, it's a, a generated stat. It's a quarter of your health score, and uh, so I, and what's great about that is it means that you're always getting value out of it. You're never going to have a situation where you're only getting a d6. Yeah. That, that spell's always going to be always going to be good, right? And they're yeah. higher uh, rank healing spells, like with the one full healing rate, yeah. one full, double, triple, whatever. There you go. All right, next. All right. So you huh. start making your way to the temple, yeah, to the uh, church. Now you go back the. The way you guys just kind of came down, I, I'm guessing you went into the alley as well, right? Or yeah, did you wait to, outside? I had to, yeah. yeah, right, you had to do that. So you start making your way back that way, and when you come out at the end of that alley, you have no idea where you are. You don't recognize anything. Mm. Uh, the doors of these houses are all closed. Uh, there is kind of a it's, it's weird half light as the you know, sun's setting, uh, and the, the clouds are accumulating. You still see the temple up down the road, but it's almost as if... The spatial thing has changed? Yeah, the, the range of the buildings has changed. Streets are a little cleaner. Uh, there aren't random pieces of feet. No, oh, okay. <sighs> Can we see the temple still? Yeah, yeah. in fact, clang! <laughs> uh. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm not fucking around. I'm yeah. starting forward to the temple. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. fine. We're... We're back here now, but it's fine. We know where it is. We're just going to go. All right, so you march your way up to the temple. It doesn't take, and there's, you don't see anything else around, although every once in a while you hear giggles or yeah. another patter of feet or a groan or a high-pitched animal noise as something's being brutally killed. But as you get closer to the temple doors, the doors stand closed. Uh, there's no chain or security on them. Two iron pull rings hang in the center of each. Above is the serpent eating its tail, the symbol of the new god. This building is stained with soot. Uh, around the tops, but it's whitish towards the base. 
uh, except where the lawnmower guy has actually put that. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, and it's kind of a, it's grassy here and there. Looks like it's been fairly well maintained. You do get a strong coppery scent coming from the place. Clang! And the doors shake. Well, I scuttle right, right back up on the Pong's back. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, yeah. yeah, please. All right. I don't reach, man. I'm like eight <laughs> feet tall, it right? Oh. You pull those doors open, and what you see is uh, is enough that you have to give me will rolls <laughs> to avoid <laughs> gaining insanity. Carnage. Nice. <laughs> All right, so tell me about will rolls. So I'm so going to roll this with the plus. You, right. And, and I need 10 or better? 10 or better. Always 10. I've got no, 12. Yep. 12? 14. How are you? Seven. Seven is too low. Oh, yeah. How are I you know. a robot with weak will? Yeah. Well, because he's <laughs> a robot. So, but when, when <laughs> I you see my jaw drop off again. <laughs> hang, hang on. Is, is, would this be a challenge roll? Yeah. So, when a creature within five yards of me makes an attack roll or a challenge roll, since we're all at the door, my suspicion is we're probably doing it right. Um, you can use a triggered action to grant the triggering roll one boon. Correct. So, 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 so add d6 to that. and and. But that's too far away, and you know that. I hate dice Jack dice. I hate dice tricks. Well, that's why it is. Just put it in there. <laughs> All right. All right. So that you, for a moment, you felt uh, yeah. you, you felt like you were an episode of Ren and Stimpy with tuned in the AM radio signal. Yep. Yeah. But then you you get re control over yourself. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just, just Are we good? Just, Are just we good? Couple, couple okay. Pats right. on the back. <laughs> yeah. Punk just like helps. Settle me down, out. Russ. So I take this and then add your will modifier. Add my will modifier. Ten. Ten. Perfect. Woo! All right. So you've seen what I'm about to describe all the time. So this is not unsettling at all. Uh, <laughs> so jaded. So, you, wake, you wake up in a room like this, yeah. right? Right. And then go to work. Of course. All right. So one of the first things you notice is that uh, there's a big mound of bodies in the center. It looks like the townsfolk. All of them are sporting the same grisly wound. Uh, the author of these hor hor horrifying wounds, which is a hole punched through their face that comes out the back of their head, and there are brains painting the back of their head, and they're just kind of lying here and there, wherever. So, but the source of this is a gigantic, nine foot tall, naked, corpulent man uh, wearing a filthy diaper and just shit leaking out of the back of it. So this is uh, this and, is very Dante's Inferno. Right, man. and he's got a pair of nipple rings, which look like the the rings you put in, a, in, a, in an ox's nostrils, and hanging from them are a set of six penises on each one, each ring. Okay, so it's the twelve penises total. 12 total. We don't know. There might be more down below. Thank you. And he's carrying this gigantic spike. It's a pick in both hands. Penis pick? Nope. It's just a big metal pick. I just and it's got clotted with brains and bone now. and hair. And he is, uh, he's been blinded. Uh, so they're, uh, something's burned out his eyes. So they're big, big, big gaping uh, holes. And he starts making this mewling noise and whimpers as he's taking the first step towards you. The clang, you figure out, is that the last one was his most recent victim who's still flopping around on the floor. Oh no, that's the, that's, I thought maybe it was the plate or something. Yeah. This is, this is terrible, okay. Do, right, we, so do, we, do, we, do we see do we see any magic plates in here? There, it is <laughs> yeah. magic plate free. There is an altar uh, that is smeared with feces and blood in the back. All the pews have been pushed against the walls. The bodies, you count, you just a quick estimation, something like maybe 60 or 70 people have been murdered in this room. You want to tell me why I should follow this new guy? <laughs> I'm about to show you. Oh, yeah. I mean, <sighs> nothing new is good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fast turns. What All do you right? need? Well, I'm going to, I mean, I got to summon the God Hammer. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I mean, and th this should actually just be the direct response yeah. to the request from Prometheus. To see what's great about this yeah. god. Well, you know, let me instruct you. All right. Uh, so here comes the god hammer, which this uh, sheet describes as a glowing golden hammer that appears at a point within 20 yards and remains for one minute. So how long is a turn in this game? Uh, it's uh, six, uh, sorry, 10 seconds. Okay. Um, so it's going to be around for six turns. Uh, until the spell ends, I can use a triggered action on your turn to move the hammer up to 10 yards and attack one creature. When you do make a will attack roll against the target's defense, and my will is banging, so that should be good. Uh, on a success, the target takes 2d6. If you roll a 20 or higher and beat the target's defense by 5 or more, the target takes 2d6 extra damage. So this seems great. All right. You cast a spell. Big, scary hammer shows up. Well, I'm guessing you want to put it near him? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just right between us. All right. So interceding. All right. Do you feel the power of the new god flowing through this place? Sort of. All right. Uh, anybody else want to take a fast? Um, yeah, can I actually launch up off of Prometheus's back and try and scimitar this, uh... Sure. 
All right, I'm, I'm going for right. I'm going to use my mighty attack. Okay. I'm going to go right in the middle of one of these uh, nipple rings <laughs> and try and stab and make a hook uh, uh, and like rip a swing. It. No, I, I want. Uh, essentially, I'm going to probably make myself a dick chair at this point. Mm-hmm. So you're going to transform uh, him, him into some kind of like perverse jungle gym, pretty much sort of thing. Yeah. Love it. All right, and really use the the cocks as like a keyboard, right? With nice, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> lovely song. Some Stilly Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I get to make an attack with mighty attack. I get to make an attack roll with one boon. Use trickery. Yep. With another boon. Yep. Um, and then dirty attack and proc off of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you're gonna do quite well. Well, seventeen. Seventeen. All right, you strike at the. You get it right where you wanted yep. to, and now you've and your body is pressed up against these flaccid. Uh, Pudens, uh, and you have damaged this guy. Give me some. Give me some love. All right. So with the scimitar, it's three d six plus one. Oh Ooh. goodness gracious! I like twelve oh, damage. Two, oh. four. Uh, so what was 16, 17 points of damage? That was the dirty tricks, right? Jeez. Oh, and a, uh, yeah, plus one. Oh, my attack gives me two extra d six. That's nuts. So we're at 17 now, plus another... 23. Yeah, 23 points of damage. Jesus. All right, you jam that blade right into its <laughs> chest. You destroy and you're the swinging boss. off of it. <laughs> uh, and he is, uh, he just, he starts blubbering. Uh, and, uh, and... Uh, hurt. Uh, <laughs> it's... I, it's making it so weird for me that he's mewling and blubbering. Like, that's making it too weird for me. <laughs> It's. I'm deeply uncomfortable. With Guys, that. it's like a ride. Come on. <laughs> I a despise giant in a diaper that didn't weakness and cowardice. This fucking oh, yeah. baby. I am, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take my action yeah, to, to this. do an overbearing charge. All right. Fuck you. Yeah. All right. So you just throw yourself this yeah, guy. Yeah. Do it. Roll uh, that beautiful bean footage again. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, da, 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 da. It's just an attack roll. Yes. Yep. And don't forget your boons. Once. Uh, I think that's only one boon for right. this whole thing. So yes. So oh my god, yeah, eighteen uh, plus five, twenty. Uh, that, and that, that's uh, over twenty. It beats it by five. So your forceful strike kicks on. So it's an extra D six damage. Nice. Uh, yes. Plus so, all the goodness that comes you from too. your charge. You too. God, what's next? You can do this too. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Get the uh, other one. It's easy. <laughs> Everyone's going to be doing it. Um. Was uh, uh, he's damaged? Yes. He's not injured. Injured would be uh, he has to have damage equal to half his health or more. Well, that's oh, what I was. Like yeah. Yeah. So I'm mm-hmm. waiting for that to kick in. It's, <laughs> it's coming. Uh, okay. So come on. Yeah. Eight. Eight. That's still you know that's still a tidy amount. Every little bit helps. Whoops. All right. So. <laughs> Sling that. <laughs> that dice is fired. <laughs> All right, so you smack into the, the thing. Uh, he grunts. Uh, does overbearing charge do anything extra on success? Uh, it does. It moves him. Um, and I was going to ask, well, yeah. if he's my size? Uh, he is one he's bigger than you. One bigger than me. Okay, so um, uh, larger target moves one yard. Okay, so. so he staggers back under the weight of your attack, uh, and he's back a step closer to the altar. Uh, you're swing about, and you're swinging on your blade. And as you swing out to the side, you see that the altar is partly askew. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, anybody else going to go fast? Um, I can get up there into melee. Uh, in, uh, if you charge, you can do that. Uh-huh. Uh, or you wait to slow and you can do both. Uh, uh, this, uh, the overbearing charge also moves me past him. So, okay, you passed it, um, all right. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, you can move the target <coughs> uh, and then continue moving until you've moved your speed. Okay. So um, oh, wow. I, di- I didn't plan to go like that far, but sure. I wanted to use this overbearing charge to push him back and then get behind him. Perfect. So Love it. I'm, All right. So I'm you're back behind him. And you're in the blood slippery in gorse. He slides and it splashes of blood. Oh, and yeah. 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 It's very cinematic. Cool. All right. I'll go slow. You're going slow. All right. <laughs> so Big Scary is, uh, has had worse. enough of this. Uh, <laughs> he's got, he gets to do a double attack. So for the first thing he's going to do is he's going to reach down and grab a hold of you and chuck you across the room. <laughs> Uh, yes. so I he, think that's fair. Yeah, I, it, totally You're fair. very aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> he gets, uh, gets this roll plus eight. 
that is going to be a 20 against your defense. <coughs> against my defense? Wow. Yes, that's easily. It's enough. Not certain, just, yes. it's All right. That was like three ones. Yeah. Like, huh. well, you take the highest one. I know, but yeah. three ones. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah right. Like, <laughs> like, what are the? T- I'm going to give the total damage, but I'm going to. So he's going. I'm just going to do a d6 for the whole grab thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he rips the blade out, the ring out, the penis is out, and as the a whole, whole package, out. and he chucks you at the wall through the as hard as he can. Uh, so I don't have to roll because the wall's there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're just going to take some damage, but I'm going to let you give me an agility okay. uh, challenge roll to you have it. Ooh, 20. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be 16, 19, 21 damage. And I got a 20 on the agility. All right, oh. so you half that damage. You take 10 as so, you are smear on the wall. So do I de- technically have like a cock necklace now? Like did the ring just kind of like... Weirdly, they stiffened and burrowed into your body. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like a Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> I don't Which know about content this. Warning, yeah. Right? Yeah. We're content warning, right? All so, right. Uh, so then, for not. his second attack, he <laughs> swings down. his uh, he swings his his pick at Ooh. you. This could be painful. Uh, that is a fifteen twenty defense. Uh, yes. Right. Sixteen. Yeah. All right. 16 so you're gonna take. 4d6 plus 6, and you get a little bit of some sum on the side. Nice. Get ready. Uh, oh, that no. That is uh, 9, 13, 16 damage, plus 6 is 19 damage. Uh, but... Hey, I'm going to look into healing real quick. Uh, and you are dazed for one round automatically, which okay. means no actions, but you can move. Okay. All right, and that's just to the end of next round. Uh, that takes care of my fast turn. Uh, Ingrid's the Cleaver! What yes. will you do? Uh, I am going to move up and uh, make a magical augmented attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this basically gives me a boon uh, to do that. So, uh, 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 da, da, da. Oh, Actually, maybe I'll use a mighty attack. That, that'll give me some extra damage. Sure. Yeah. Okay, grand. All right, so you come up and you're there. Uh-huh. Magic's flowing through your weapon. Ancestors guide my axe. Or I could roll a fucking two. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't even get a hold of them, dude. That is so Damn typical, Kramus. Yeah. All right, Kramus dice get a- rolling <laughs> is predictably bad. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That is that's why people tragic. like it when I'm in the GM. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. they have an easy time. That was <laughs> honestly that was our experience. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's... They're low. Yeah. <laughs> They're low. Well. Okay, well, that was a, that was a really cool scene. Um, <laughs> and I... <laughs> nice job. But well. I tried my best, everybody. You tried yeah. your yeah. best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, that brings to the end of the round. Uh, you have the day's effect that goes... Yeah. Affliction goes until next round. No one else is frightened. No one else is doing anything else. Back to fast turns. You guys can go in any order you wish. All right. Well, fuck it. I'm going to go again. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make... An augmented attack this time. Hell yeah. Oh, I got three this time. Plus three is six. Plus my strength of two is eight. That's okay. totally a hit. We're going to end Just because. Just try that again. All right. Like right, right now. Right now. Yeah. Oh, so kind. Oh, Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey. Better. Hey, now these are higher numbers. Yeah. yeah. All right? Don't we like this? Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it when it happens. <laughs> okay, so I have got... 2d6 plus 2 damage. Hey, uh, nice. Yeah, 10. All right. When you hit it in the gut, um, there's a grumbling sound. No. <laughs> and he good. opens his mouth, <sighs> and a torrent of semi digested food, yeah. uh, little hands and feet, and cockroaches, and all sorts of other things come pouring out. Mm. It is an ocean of, of garbage. Flying at you, filth. Yeah. Me so much filth. Or all of us. It's a, it is. A, it is an eight-yard-long cone. <laughs> so it's going to catch <laughs> both of you guys. You're a, a better than the wall. You're behind <laughs> wisely. Both you guys need to give me an agility challenge roll to have this damage. You know my, my agility is so good. My axe was only wafer thin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's negative one. Um, <laughs> total negative, four. Here, all right, it's negative one here. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I should be able to use prayer for my own role. You can. Right? Mm-hmm. 16. You're fine. All right. So you take uh, 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 you take five damage. Uh, Ingress, you take 10. 10. Oh. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, any other fast turns? Um, let's see. So in terms of fast turns, uh, the God Hammer... Is that my action, or mm-hmm. does it just act and does its own thing? Does its own thing. For well, here, here, then. Oh, let's, cool. let's have our God Hammer 
uh, hit this piece of shit. <laughs> now, this is a spell from the Theurgy uh, school. Oh. And I'm wondering... Tradition, but yes. Yeah, exactly. Now, I'm wondering if that extra D6 I get from Icon of Faith applies to Godhammer yes. as a weapon. Okay, great. So, what we want to do now is we want to do a will attack roll against the target's defense. You can do it! And that means uh, big boons uh, from the prayer, right? Right. Um, and I attack roll... Uh, I get another boon just because of the icon of faith. Right. Well, wait. So we, you um, you went you went. That's right. That, we're in a new round. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you got triggered action back. Exactly. So what I want to do is I want to get higher than twenty. You can do it. That's the fantasy. Oh. Ooh. Oh my God. Sidekick. Wow. This is. I mean, this is. <laughs> wow. Really? This you, is catastrophic. You got did premised. You, did that just happen? Dude, wow. Yeah, it's catching. Yeah. Primus syndrome. <laughs> the P virus. Yeah. So I got a one on the D20. That's mm-hmm. the lowest one on there, just so everybody knows. Right. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I also got a one on a D6, which isn't as shameful, but still bad. Yeah. Kind of bad. And then I got a two, like, as though to say you got a higher roll on your D6 than you did on a D20. This, that was my god hammer. All right, your god hammer so is a little. The god, you, I'm, you just, wanna I'm just reiterate? saying this new jack stuff. <laughs> no, 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 really. saying, no. I'm I, starting to, ble- you know? No, no. It's like, I don't see the light. <laughs> so I say, it has to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but that isn't my, that isn't my action, right? right? So I'm actually going to, I'm going to hit him uh, with my, uh, I'm going to denounce him. Okay. Mm. Okay. With a, with a furious denunciation. <laughs> so it has like multiple symbols on it, which doesn't. Like yeah. So, uh, so get ready for this denunciation. Counter. I'm gonna make a will attack roll against the target's will. You Got ready? Mm-hmm. Much better. Now you already used uh, prayer, prayer once. On so, it's only, so I only get the icon of faith. Right. Okay. Let me re-roll the d6 then. Okay. Four. Four. So this right. is a sixteen. Sixteen. He is denounced. And what's the effect? The effect is great. <laughs> um, on a success, the target becomes frightened. So he's already oh. loathsome, right? So now he's frightened as well. Oh, um, more mewling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Disgusting. Blubbering. Um, and if I beat the target number, what's the target number? Uh, it was uh, 12. Damn it. You gotta beat the target number. Like one off? You gotta be 20 or higher and then oh. beat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it would have been a maze. Because you can just knock them over. Which okay. would be great. But no, he's scared. All so right. you tell me what that means. Uh, he starts, uh, if he had eyes or the, the architecture around the eyes to yeah. do so, <laughs> there would be rivers of, of, of tears. But Black instead. Pitch. He's just uh, chuffing and choking on his tongue, and he's defecating, and it's just kind of flapping his arms around. It's he's a th- very. It's a tantrum. It's a tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll give you lukewarm. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else want to uh, go on fast? Act quickly. Uh, once, twice, three times I've a lady. All right. Gone, huh? I'm frightened, so I can't go fast. We're on slow turns. Okay. Oh, is, is that what it means? Mm-hmm. You yeah, don't get the he, fast yeah. action? I can't take a fast turn, that's and I have a ban in all rolls. See, that's very easy. Uh, uh, one, one could do this drunk. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. you see? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, slow turns. Is that made by our friends at Campaign Coins? It Coin? is. Ooh. Campaign Coins made oh, this. Oh, that's Snazzy yeah. black metal turn Some token. Some of the oh, nicest this. people in the game yeah, industry. True like story. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Super yeah. nice. Yeah. In uh, fact, they helped us out. Uh, we just exhibited at PAX Australia for the first time, yeah. and uh, Mark Morrison from Campaign Coins was a huge help in huge help. in well, no, us yeah, Mike, I think they were doing all the stuff for Rodney's game too. Yes, yeah. yeah. When Mike did, uh, Mike used to run a campaign at the office. This was before the days of like, like D and D streaming or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, he had heaps of Campaign Coins. Like he was a sucker for that <laughs> stuff. They did the blue rose um, oh, yeah. uh, tokens uh, with the blue. It's heart with blue enamel. Uh, they're oh, really cool. pretty. No, no, they're so just they're. He awesome. can make he can make demon lord. He can make pretty. Is something cool. <laughs> what do you want? Gifts, gifts, gifts from mom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. All right, now. Uh, so we. So am we, I am I done being dazed, or does that go all the it way? It goes away until the end of this round. Okay. But you can move. You want to move. Uh, I'm just going to stay out of swinging range of that pick. I okay. Think. Good That's plan. All right. I'm not. I'm gonna get up, huck, a, take a dick out of my uh, chest, <laughs> huck it at this creature, and run at it. And okay. Try to slice it. Sure. Like the the, yeah. the dick flaps through the air. <laughs> it's like, uh, and and then eventually kind of slaps him with the face. <laughs> uh, and then you charge forward to make forward your attack. To make the attack. Okay. 
I take a dick out of my chest. Well, <laughs> I haven't heard that in a game before. Yeah, I was just going to say, this is you know? really original. Now, you put those dice in there. You put them in, in this where they belong. Hey, 17. Mm -hmm. 17 is enough. You strike it. Okay. So we're going to get 3d6 plus 1. Oh, oh. God, could you? Oh. 2 plus 4. We're at 7 points of damage. 7 points. All right. Uh, he is... Getting closer to injured, but not <laughs> quite. He's just looking for a parking space. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, that takes it to a slow turns. I'm going to take mine. Uh, now I've got two targets. This will be delightful. Uh, it's going to swing its big meat hammer at you, my dear friend. This is the one that goes clang, clang. Clang, clang. Yeah. Like the truck. Different kind of meat hammer. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a 19 plus 8 is a 27. Oh. You, you, you paid for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Oh, Satan loves you. Oh. That is 21 damage. Sure. Jesus. And uh, you Oops. are dazed for one round. I am down. All right, so you drop to the ground, and you're <laughs> flopping around. Uh, actually, uh, and remember, you have your whole object forms. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you drop to which became incapacitated, you turn into an object. Yep. Just... Any damage you took in excess applies to your object form. Oh, okay. Uh, Hold on, what do you mean object form? I'm, I'm a... Well, I know about that. So once I'm my seeing... key stops turning... He becomes an object. Yeah, he's like a coffee table now. Yeah. <laughs> and then nice. you can you can go and crank him back up by turning the key, but then made because he's was dropped to that state by damage. Uh, there's a chance that he bad things happen. No, and we, I, I, I can I think I can fix this. Okay. So 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 if that if that happened. He's he's going. So now we're going back to fast. Uh, he still has another attack, and he is going to mess up you, sir, with his big meaty. Watch out. Who me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're gonna like this. <laughs> you are gonna like this. Uh, no, oh. uh, it's a 15, 20, 28 defense. Oh, really? I have a 30. <laughs> <laughs> 29, oh, so close. Uh, this attack only deals 11, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 11, uh, 13, 19 damage. 19 damage? It's Jimmy still plenty. Crickets. Yeah, so this, this dude's real. Okay. I denounced him, but you know he was he was fine with it. He's kind of like, eh. yeah, he scared your god hammer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that brings to the end of the round. Uh, you're down, yep. so you need to roll uh, what we call fate roll. Okay. Or actually, follow the instructions on what it says. Fighting for life. Uh, um, actually, please don't pass me. Shit. I have the wind the clock, but yep. that won't happen yet. That's, uh, oh, I have sense enemies. I sense yes, this sense. giant thing that just kicked my ass. Failing magic. That's oh, where, failing magic. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Cool. What it do? If you become an object from becoming incapacitated, the magic binding your soul to your body begins to fail. At the end of uh, each round, roll a d6. Here's the number one. <laughs> Explosion! <laughs> Boom! <Yeah. laughs> when you explode in a 1d6 yard radius um, from a point in your space, you are destroyed and everything in your area takes 2d6 damage. When, a creature when the that GM goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, hon, so you explode? <laughs> yep. So he takes he takes two d six I guess he, he takes it you can take it and uh, and you take well let's see how far it's how one wide it yeah is. it's one d six yards so it's four yards away and you'll catch yeah. it too <laughs> all right uh, so we got to make a agility challenge roll to have this damage seven points <laughs> yeah. now it's just gonna say I made it it was fun oh I don't think I did but here's the deal you don't have to I'm sorry I think I rolled a six but I did you guys see that did I roll a six yeah. Um, you just see it's my not. head. Just okay, like, so you take, was it seven damage on a fail? Seven damage. Seven, all right, so big guy is now injured. All right, <laughs> yeah, clockwork yeah. pieces go everywhere. <laughs> uh, and the smoking rubble of just his feet. Yeah. Kind of pouring off of that. My helmet, it's like Darth Vader in the cavern, you know? Mm. And you just <laughs> smoke. Yeah. I'll give you a stack of characters that could just be happening along this hilarious scene. <laughs> yeah. <It was> amazing. <laughs> He just fucking flew up. All right. All right, so you pick your replacement from the stack. Uh, all right. Obviously, you're tied up behind the altar. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was you're ready. Next. Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, that was a really great way to end that, that one. Was all right. awesome. That was fantastic. Okay, so that brings back to fast turns. Right. Uh, you're no longer dazed. Uh, he is still frightened for, was it one minute? One minute? 
that he was frightened for one round. One round. Okay, so that ends. All right. And that takes care of that. So fast turns. All right. I want to do some brutal recovery. Do it. Uh, brutal recovery. I can uh, uh, heal the damage equal to my healing. Right. Um, until the end of the next round, my attacks with melee weapon deal 1d6 extra damage. Nice. Yeah. And uh, surging violence when you heal damage. You can use a triggered action to make an attack with a weapon, making the attack roll with an extra boot. Do it. So this I'm is do marvelous. Uh, We're going to need to get a bigger dice tray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, this is even better. So I, uh, I roll, I've got three boons, is that right, Rob? Uh, one, four, yeah, yeah. Yeah, three. Oh. Oh, that yeah, looks sexy. Know. Yeah, that's that's pretty sexy. What are we looking 17, at? Seventeen, uh, um, nineteen, twenty-three. That's 29. by five. Beautiful all day long. So you get forceful strike, extra damage, and all your other fun things that add on to that. Yep. Uh, You've been okay. waiting for that forceful strike. I have been. Um, so that's three against three d six plus two just for that. That is uh, uh, nine uh, plus two is is eleven. Um, Delicious. And attack roll was with the boon. Um, melee weapons deal one extra. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. Aww. Only got an extra one. And I think that is all of my <laughs> all right. up stuff. You chew a hole through this guy's back. Mm -hmm. uh, and he uh, and he's staggering around. He's pretty injured, but he's still on his feet. Mm -hmm. All right, any other fast turns? Um, is he considered a monster? Uh, this guy is not. He's considered an ogre. <laughs> Damn it. Well, so he, he shows that Demon Lord distinct, makes meaningful distinctions between ogres and monsters? Monsters are, uh, uh, yeah, they do. They're like uh, aberrations or something? Yeah, they're just things that, that shouldn't be. They're gross. They're really yeah. gross and weird, and they, yeah. So ogres, they should be, but you don't like it if they are. Right. Okay. So, uh, so essentially you get one action per mm -hmm. turn. Okay, so if I try to heal myself... And I would also just be standing there to get hit again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it seems like the best defense is a good offense. Hail so. Satan. Oh. <laughs> Here, now, uh, I would be happy to top you up. Uh, how many how many hit points have you taken? 32. Well, here, <laughs> then let me, here, the, mm. uh, this is the thing. Yeah. It's not initiative based, mm -hmm. right? right? Yeah. I'll just go now. Yeah. And then you go after that. Yeah. Sounds so good. I am going to use my major healing, which allows you uh, to heal damage equal to three times your healing rate. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Well, that'll do it for you. All right, and you can God hammer this guy. It, oh, and he's getting God hammered. Believe me. <laughs> Believe <laughs> you <laughs> me, <laughs> sir. Um, <laughs> I'm also going to use my prayer trigger. Yep. Uh, which sounds great. <laughs> um, so a God hammer, uh, uh, if it deals damage or heals damage, it does an extra D6, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, so I just want to roll this with the boon. I'm just trying to figure out how many boons I have. You, got, you should have one. Yeah, from the prayer. Right. I need big. Unless you, yeah. Oh. Ooh. All day 24. Long. All day, yep. and by five. Oh, so this is oh, yeah. by yeah, five. Nice. So this is very, very good news, people. Uh, I'm going to borrow some, some dice. extra dice. <laughs> because the God Hammer does He's extra 2d6 <laughs> extra if it's five over and 20. And the Icon of Faith... Oh shit, I actually need another one. The Icon <laughs> of Faith uh, makes it deal an extra D6, and the Prayer makes it deal an extra D6. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I, so roll two more I'm D6 sorry, all I have yeah. is five D6, so yeah, I mean, it's fine. You know, this is how it is. I can roll, I'll take a dice out, and I'll roll that one again. You're here. It's fine. All right. Oh, hey, cool. All right, ready? Nice. All right, 11, 12. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, holy cow! All right, so there's a big dent in his forehead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he's kind of weebling and wobbling. He's not falling yet, but he's really close. Yeah, he's adjacent. Yes. And you just hear a whisper on the wind's like, I oh, All right. please yeah. hit something, Chris. <laughs> I'm gonna try. This is your time. Yes, I'm gonna make a mighty attack, uh, and then I'm gonna use a prayer uh, as well. To you have to. Another boon. Yep, yep. Oh, that's good. 
Uh, mm. So 1921. 21, and that is by five, if that makes any difference. Uh, it does not. Uh, Don't forget that extra D6 from prayer, though. I'm not forgetting that. Uh, so I get one D6 for starters. I get two D6 for mighty attack, and then another one for the prayer. This Come could on, do man. it. This, this could it. do it. Hi. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and it's another plus two, so uh, what, 13? 13. All right, so you come in with your, what do you, an axe? Battle axe. Battle axe. Yeah. You come with a battle axe, and you catch him right in the diaper, uh, and you bury oh. it. You bury it up to his <laughs> navel. Uh, when you jerk the, bl the blade out, all of his insides come out in a flood and uh, gather around the pool. That's what we want. He stumbles, sobbing a bit more, and falls over the giant pick skittering across the floor. Hail the dark gods. Yeah. <laughs> you are tied up. Behind the altar. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, look under this pile of guts. There seems to be a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wriggling. Yeah, yeah. So I'll reach. I'll reach in. Little I'll help. Pull that. Pull that hand out from this uh, ichor. And okay. A little three foot goblin yeah. comes. comes <laughs> oh, just keep, I pull the hand. And it just keeps. <laughs> just, like, just stretch. Just like out. All right. The thanks. I, said, yeah. I say goblin. What you've witnessed this day is heroism. <laughs> True heroism. Uh, enabled, indeed catalyzed by the new god. And I, I, may, I gesture at the uh, exhibit A. Right, right. <laughs> Wavering hammer. Yeah. Behold. Behold. What? Just what? behold it. Um, behold um, all what? I, I, what? I, I, I see guts. I hand welcome. you a hanky. Yeah. You're welcome. Now, somebody was saying that this altar was moved. Mm -hmm. That's it's something, few. but now, now, that, now that I've spoken the good word, uh, now I'm gonna uh, uh, move toward that, okay. that, <laughs> that cleft. Who, who the hell are you? It's fine. Uh, uh, you see me walk up uh, next to uh, my friend now and I just lick the side of his head. <laughs> he was tied up behind the altar. Uh, what were you mine. here for? What? Uh, mm. No, I said, I said, praise him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yes, not, praise I'm me. I'm not going to praise him. No, you should. No, don't praise him. This isn't his church. This church is for a very specific entity. I want to make sure everybody knows. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. One entity. <laughs> it's new. That's the only clue I'm going to give. Anyway, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to push, although my strength is not impressive and it's probably shameful for you to see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to do my best to get some, you know, get some traction. Okay. Uh, and see if I can move this altar anymore. Sure. Well, I find that it's courageous of you to exhibit your weakness in front of me, which balances out my fury at your patheticness. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's. I agree. These it's, these it's humans are pathetic. <laughs> well, listen. The goblin race is better than you, and you know it. You can't prove that. So I guess we'll. we'll I can. We're gonna, we're going to table that for now, and we're going to come back to it. We're going to table it for now. No. It's a human. Uh, custom. We table things. Yes, yeah, so that's appropriate. That's why we're. We had a you. table, but he blew up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had. It was a friendly table. Yeah. All right. So you push on the. You push the altar, and uh, it, it it scratches against the floor, uh, and it does sweet swing aside to show a spiral staircase descending into the depths. See, and that is. This Rob, is, um, for the purposes of this game, uh, are the four healing potions that I have listed Ooh. on my. Uh, Equipment actually available to me? They are, in fact. Uh, each time you drink one at the end of the round in which you drink it, you get to heal damage equal to your healing rate. Okay. So I'm thinking um, we, before we go traipsing down into the bowels yeah, of Yeah, good this idea. Mm -hmm. You can go and top up. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm certainly going to imbibe. Yeah. Um, anybody else feel like taking a little rest? Man, I've got all kinds of great stuff up here. I'm always yeah, down. I think, I think there's a, it's not like an optimal, it's not exactly a spa, but... How much are you down? Me? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm down 14, but if I take one of these uh, healing potions, uh, I'm What's scratched. your healing rate? Oh, 11. Okay, so it's healthy. Yeah. So um, uh, I can use shared recovery, um, where I take an action, I heal damage equal to my healing rate, and then I can pick one creature, yeah. uh, and you get uh, heal damage equal to uh, your, healing. your healing rate. So that should top you off. 
In it instead of me taking a potion? No. Or in addition, in addition to. Yeah. Okay. Because I was only down a couple of points yeah. after that. So it's not a, it's, some, here, save it. Do it to me. Or or no, to no, one no, of you these. Save it. Do it well, to me. So I can't or do it to you. grab a healing potion in the middle of combat or You could. It just use your action it, to do it. Yeah. Right. It would be it would be I gotcha. Yeah. I got you. I'm saying that I'm the tongue <laughs> is good. Yeah. I'm more hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you got like goblin saliva on you now. Yeah. So. That's the worst. That's worse than the physical harm. Yeah. Hey. Um that's a blessing. Is it okay, so I um is there anything that I know about like about this uh this church? Is there a place where uh, defensive measures would be kept. Is there something like the a new god equivalent of a of a panic room? <laughs> uh, no, not not a building of this size. This is a oh, relatively this is a little, small little temple. More local. Okay. Yeah, I, it's also kind of unusual that there would be a staircase under the altar. That, oh no, no, I yeah. I agree that that's weird. <laughs> We're on the same page there. I'm just wondering if there's like steak storage or something. <laughs> yeah, like some churchy stuff that mm-hmm. is sharp. Don't see anything like that. There doesn't seem to be any cabinets or, co- or any of those lines yeah. in this area. Holy water dispenser. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hose. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously. So are we? We're, we're tooled up. We've rested. We got some uh, uh, healing going on. Obviously, you're fresh. You want some toilet wine? I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. I don't. Bubo's toilet wine. I'm making myself. <laughs> what okay. in the toilet? It's artisanal. It's great. Okay. All right. Craft so, uh, toilet wine. Say, uh, goblin. Uh, What's your name and what do you do? Bubo, and I make toilet wine. <laughs> you do not seem very useful at the moment. Have you tried the wine? Nope. Is it wine for toilets? <laughs> How many toilets drink wine? We make the wine in the toilet. It adds flavor. Okay. And <laughs> texture. Yeah, mouthfeel. Yeah, mouthfeel. <laughs> Creamy mouthfeel. All right. Stop. Um, I, yeah, I say, well, you know, maybe I won't survive. And I won't be able to try the toilet wine. And that's a blessing in and of itself. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving. I down. size him up. What's he carrying? What yeah. are you carrying? You see um, a small um, a bronze sword uh, at my side, and you see a giant a bone sticking up the left side of my torso. Um, that's the uh, hilt of a, of a dagger. Okay. Um, oh, okay. It's a weapon. But you see a pistol. On my back, the back of my uh, belt. All right. As I turn around and offer you some wine. Like a swashbuckler sort of dude? Yeah. I'm into it. All right. I'm into it. So uh, I'm going to cast light uh, on my holy symbol, my icon of faith. Okay. Just so I'll have something to light the path down the stair. All right. Light blooms from your your icon of faith. uh, Once again, I... Grumble about the weak eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, it's like, see, this is like too much. It's like, oh, yeah, these people. Weak eyes, weak spirit. Uh, <clears throat> all right. right. Uh, so you head down the stairs. Yeah. Who's leading the way? You want me to go first? Uh, that's great. I mean, that's that's how it's always been for ten years now. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, I can't see because there's an eight foot orc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's like, but it's like tippy toes. Like, eh. <laughs> I'm not trying to like jump up. Oh. You know. yeah. All right, protect so you, these weaklings. You take the stairs and you, and you wrap around the spindle and descend deeper and deeper into uh, whatever's below this place. And when you reach the bottom, uh, it is in a vaulted chamber. You've been going Ooh. down this thing for a long ways. I was afraid it was going to be like cramped cavern. So vaulted chamber yeah, is big kind of vaulted relief. chamber. Nice. Uh, there are. Um, the floor is covered in flagstones. Walls are also stone blocks. There are two rows of three fat, wide columns. Capitals are all uh, skulls. Uh, there is uh, three exits. Three black doors are set in the walls, and there is a, uh, a pit in the middle that's filled with ashes. Okay, so they like is... the number three. Yeah, yeah, they're fans. Uh, so this is this is not uh, like off the shelf. No, yeah. Okay, so this was, so this is here before. Maybe they thought, are we are we out there building temples on things we don't want to be there? In some cases, that would yeah. It's like it's a, the purpose. It's like it's like a cap, especially in the northern. It's a lid. It's like a Tupperware lid. <laughs> the northern reaches is littered with uh, the ruins of the fairy kingdoms before they retreated from uh, into their own hidden kingdoms. So there are a lot of places that have been uh, co-opted by 
the Temple of the New God and That's so on. That's a classic on. Right. scenario. Sealed off. We have all the fairy holidays, but we call them right. with our own names. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so... Also, we take this holy place and now it's our holy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, still, it's holy. That's the main thing. Yeah. That's the only <laughs> thing we know for sure. So... These three doors, is there anything dis- to distinguish them? If you look at the door on the left, uh, the door on the left is, uh, is black, made of iron, you guess. Uh, you can tell because it's rusting a bit around the, the rivets. Uh, it has a central pull ring uh, that is held in the mouth of uh, some grisly monster type thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one straight ahead is made of wood. Uh, it is wrapped in bronze. Uh, it, has two pull, it has two pull rings uh, to the left side. Uh, uh, hinges on both these doors are nested. To your right, uh, you see th- this door is uh, made of some smoky quartz material. Uh, it just has a handle. Uh, and the, the, the ash pit in the center is not, it's still there. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to try using my sense enemies ability. Yeah, why don't you? Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, do do do. I attune my senses to detect creatures around me. For one minute, no creature within five yards can become hidden from me, and no creature with one corruption or more can be- become hidden from me while within 20 yards of me. All right. Uh, well, you, you see me plenty then. <laughs> <laughs> you fire it off, and uh, you immediately get a sense that there is something in that ash pit. Yeah, oh. I was definitely getting a bad <laughs> feeling from that. Like, you, you okay. let me know, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. that mm-hmm. seems like an ash pit thing. <laughs> there are four somethings in that ash pit. Oh, mm. okay. Very good then. Oh, but I suppose we have like a Molotov cocktail or something like that. Uh, well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you have something like a Molotov cocktail? Blade in the darkness. You spray the area inside a three-yard cone originating from a point you can reach with shards of solidified darkness. <laughs> Each creature in the area must make an agility uh, challenge roll. A creature in the lit area um, makes the roll with one bane. Um... While a creature is partially obscured by shadows, make the roll with one boon. A creature in the area totally obscured uh, is immune. A creature takes 2d6 damage on failure and half on success. Wow. So as soon as, soon as, we, as, soon as we see them, we, we, we want to catch them with a cone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the meantime, so do we, think that, do we think that these ash pit motherfuckers, like is their deal, like are they going to come out here when we open the wrong door? Well, it gets into what they are, right? If they're like little, like if they're like giant rats or something like that, then they're probably just scavengers, or they could be corrupted babies with the heads of crocodiles. Well, I was just gonna say, like, <laughs> we have some. <laughs> we had no. You got me. You got me. It's the croc. It's the crocodile baby. Um, that's you had it. Um, okay. Well, so yeah, we could see. just spring that on them and see what happens. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, do we think that, I mean, how deep are they in this ash? Um, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going to go stir up the ash. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pung does what Pung wants. <laughs> All right, Pung, you storm over to the ash pit, and as you get right up to it, uh, rising up out of the ashes are four skeletal figures uh, draped loosely in, uh, in, in strips of mail, and their plates that have been ri- uh, dri- bolted onto their bones. Uh, in each, the rib cage of each, is a blackened, withered fetus mm. that is uh, chained to the bones, but it's <laughs> wiggling and moving a bit as it does, almost like a puppeteer. Mm-hmm. And as it moves and wiggles, the s- blades come up and it starts and moves forward to attack. There are four of these. Q U. Yeah, yeah, well, well, what happens is I do a risky business slide so I can get out of the way of Pung and fire these blades mm. off. That's it. Um, All right. Oh, that, uh, the dark. Blade of the, the dark. solidified yeah. darkness. This is, this is like a 40K dreadnought. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, each creature in the area must make an agility roll, uh, a challenge roll. All right. A creature in a lit oh. area makes a roll with one bane, while a creature in a partially obscured uh, by shadows makes a roll with one boom. Uh, it's lit because of the light, so, yep. uh, so the first guy makes it. Second guy fails. Third guy makes. Fourth guy makes. Mm. Um, so it's seven points and uh, for full. For full. All right. So it's three, seven, three, three. All right. So you fling those shards of darkness, and they punch into the into the bodies. You see the little puppeteer babies inside squealing. We're not making any noise, but just kind of thrashing about inside, and they and they ape the movements, uh, the bones, uh, and they're fast turns. 
I think I want to. I think I want to goose everybody with a blessing. I mean, am I correct in thinking that blessing's pretty good? Yeah, <laughs> it seems real good. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bless my people here. Okay. Um, for so for a minute, which my suspicion is going to be the whole fight. Um, attack rolls and challenge rolls get a free boon. Oh, nice. Nice. And I will cross that off. Well, since I'm standing right up there. Yeah, well, yeah, it's... yeah. In position. I, I think I'm going to take a swing with my great axe. I love it. Uh, very good. Um, strength against defense. Uh, I've got a boon. I've got two boons. Somebody stole all my dice. Uh, no. Eight. Well, wait. Plus six. Yeah. Plus your strength. You know what, and, and I, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Um, it's good? Eight, yeah, 8, 10, 11, uh, 17, plus 4 is... 21. Oh, yeah. 21. That's We're by good. 5. We're good. All right, give me some damage. Uh, 46, plus a prayer, bless, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. 6, jeez, oh, uh, 11, 12, 13... 13. Thirteen. All right, it is injured. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> All right, you smack the hell out of it. Uh, bones fly away. I uh, see some of the cords of the thing that's that said that the baby creature is mm -hmm. using to animate it snap inside, so it's kind of moving in a jerky fashion. That's Any other fast turns? I, I did my fast turn, and it was great. It was great. And you did it. You did your fast turn as well. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. great. And you did your fast turn. Really, it's it's over Go here. Go slow. All right. Uh, these you got to consider these things, man. Yeah. You do. You do. <laughs> All right, so this uh, the guy that you just struck is going to do a twin strike on you. Something gross. Uh, just with the blades, uh, and it's just he's going to strike at you twice. I'm startled. Yeah, he, he, he didn't like. He he's nothing bad happened to him. Mm -hmm. He's not like messed up. I guess he's a he's tormented a, fetus. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's inside of a bone cage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So first attack is a 15 defense, which is a miss by mm -hmm. one. And the other one's a miss as well. All right. Woo. The other three can't reach you, so they're going to go on uh, slow. Perfect. All right, Angrist. All right. Uh, I'm going to uh, move over there. Okay. Um, uh, so ch -ch -ch, can I get a whole bunch of them where I can reach them? Yep. Uh, I'm going to use Arc of Death. Yes. <laughs> Each creature you choose that you can reach takes 3d6 plus 3 damage. That's so uh, much. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, they get an agility test. Um, for half, right? For half. Okay, so yeah. give me the damage. All Two. right. Not bad. Nice. Ah, nice. So That's that real health. 14 plus 3, 17. Nice. 17 damages. All right, let's see what happens. First one uh, makes it. And so I'll do that in a second. Second one. Makes it. Third one fails. Fourth one makes it. So yeah. that was uh, 17 or mm -hmm. 8. All right. Uh, so you kill the first one, uh, kill the second one, and then uh, the uh, last two are weebling, but they're not quite injured yet. Arc of Death. Arc of Death. <laughs> yeah, All right. Dude, Arc of, the Arc of Death needs to be a t shirt. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you jump in the mist and swing your blade all the way around. Two shattered fly apart. The little weird shriveled fetuses go soaring in the air and then pop away in the clouds of ashes. Uh, the last two guys are going to, because they're next to you, mm -hmm. are going to do their magic on you. Uh, but they are That's good fair, double spell. They have magic too? Yeah, well, not fair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, that's a 14. That's a miss. What does that say? Yeah, 14. 14. Four, that's a 14? Yeah. That's a 19 defense? That is that is my defense. All right. Please enjoy 10 damage. Uh, okay. And the second one, first scimitar swing is a miss, and the second one is Ooh. a 17 defense. Ha ha. Miss. All right. So the, the blades uh, strike against your armor, throwing sparks here and there. Uh, one slips a blade in. Uh, but you are still fine, I'm sure. So it brings mm -hmm. us to that was actually slow turns. Mm -hmm. End of the round, nothing happens. Fast turns. Dust is swirling around. At this point, at the start of the second round, all the skulls that form the rings around the capitals open up and start shrieking. Mm. It's just noise. I need a will challenge roll from all four of you. <laughs> right now, is it is it frightening or horrifying? It's frightening. So if a giant skull that's holding up the evil crypt room you're in opens its mouth and starts to shriek, 
that counts as a horrifying. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm horrified. All right, so you're just frightened for one round, which means you can go on slow, and you have a ban in all rolls. Okay, yeah, thirteen. Yeah, you're fine. You're only looking for a ten. I failed. Mm-hmm. All right, same for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, I get for some reason my conviction mm-hmm. gives me a boon, an automatic boon, when I'm trying to resist the effects of frightening and horrifying hmm. traits. Ten. Whoa! Perfect. Good thing you had. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well done. It keeps happening. Yeah. So two of you are frightened <laughs> by the by the sudden din, uh, and they're kind of delaying a bit. Uh, you guys managed to shake off the effects of fear, so that brings us to fast turns. If you'd like to go. Chew them mm-hmm. up. Um, am I in, in range to attack? Uh, kind of, I probably have to wait for a slow. You were th- well, there was only a three yard cone, so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah must be. You're close enough. Okay. Um, yeah, then I'm just gonna run up and. Get him with my little uh, short sword. Slice, slice one of them. You can do it. And I get a boon for trickery. Fifteen. Fifteen is going to be a miss by one. Oh! No. <laughs> All right. Anybody else going fast? Going once? Going twice? I'll go. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, whack one of them with a sword. Nice. Let's see how it goes. Oh, everybody's blessed too. Don't, don't oh, you're what's, blessed. What's blessed do? Everybody, oh, an extra, you get an extra boon. So you would have, you would have hit four real. Well, you, only, you, you don't oh, you don't add all your boons. You only add the highest. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the number of the beast. But by which I mean twenty. Yes, and that is uh, uh, that is a glorious strike. Twenty three. You know what? It feels good. It feels good. So, but hitting people is not like my total thing. Right, which is why you don't get a big spike on your damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's still fun and cool, and yep. of course he won't like it. He um, won't. So D6 plus two damage. Mm-hmm. Seven points. Seven points. Nice. Beautiful. All right. He is injured and weebling and wobbling. Uh, and that takes us for fast turns. So I'm going to take mine. I've got a, because I've got a bunch of combatants. I've got four attacks. We're just going to give each, each one of you one. That seems pleasant. Yeah. Uh, all right. First <laughs> one on dead. you is an 18 defense. You two dead? make it. Two dead? Yeah. yeah, they can do double attack. Oh, oh, so splitting your attack between. So it's a hit on you. Yeah, good thing. Mm-hmm. That is uh, six, seven damage on you. All mm-hmm. right, and then on the dwarf, uh, that is a twenty-two. Fine. <laughs> for seven. eight damage. Okay. And then on you, mm-hmm. kitten. I'm doing uh, great. That is a twenty defense. Oh yeah. Got it. For six damage and and some, that is a fourteen. No. All right, you duck underneath <laughs> the blade, swung at your head. Blades go slashing this way and that. You're still on your feet. Uh, it brings us to slow turns. Mm. Come on, frightened people. Take us home. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, want to go Pong? No. no. You go first. Okay. Uh, let's try to decide if it's worth it. Uh, I guess I'll do an augmented attack. So I need this. And I'm blessed, right? Yes. You're augmented. Uh, you're and hey, hey, I'm going to use prayer. Why there not? Go. Why don't you? Cool. So he prays for himself. Can I also pray for him? <laughs> sure can. Everybody wow. praying for you. <laughs> I got That's two some fours. real prayer yeah. warrior stuff there. Uh, ooh, that might not be good enough. So that's an 11 plus my strength is 2. A 13, it is a miss. Good effort, good effort. Survey mm-hmm. says. Too eh. It's too low. All right. Uh, I'm going to swing. I am once again furious at having been injured, mm-hmm. uh, which mm-hmm. gives me some extra mojo. Okay, you take a boon, a bane for being frightened, but yep. you're all thrown the blessings, so those two just cancel yep. out. And that leaves me with two boons. So Do it. Here we go. Mm. Come on. <laughs> you can't read that from here. Two. Two, uh, though. Uh, two is very oh, low. <laughs> so no, I'm still. All right. I'm still. All right. That so brings to the end of the round. The frightened effects end. That brings to fast turns. Is it time? Yes. Unleash. Hell? Yeah, I just heard him. Or is it, it just like heaven? Well, just I mean, which one, what is it? it? Dagger. Oh, yeah. Well, no, that, no, that was the other character. <laughs> Short sword? <laughs> sure. Do whatever yeah. it is that you yeah. do. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to... Splashing with toilet wine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it killed half my village. So it's fresh. <laughs> so yeah, it's too soon. fresh. Yeah. Yep. Now don't you feel bad. Mm. Hey. Whoa. 24. I'm going to use exploit opportunity yes, on this one. All nice. right. All right. Give me a pile of damage, please. Yes. So, what am I... There we go. So, defense 1d6. So, it's going to be 3d6. <gasps> Whoa, Whoa. There's 11. Come on. Yeah. So, it's 
15. <laughs> you destroy that one. Flies <laughs> apart, uh, and you yep. you bring back the the withered fetus on the end of your blade. Nice. And, and so now you have another attack. Yeah. As I do that, I take the pistol out of my <laughs> back and just I don't even look. Just oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Oh, oh, you should have looked. Fucking <laughs> hell. Oh, my <laughs> <cat. Dredger. laughs> oh uh, uh, Jody, uh, so uh, 14. 14. Is there anything else that you know? There's not. All <laughs> no, right. No. So yeah. you fire, and the shot goes a little wide, and. Uh, but he doesn't know that it's. He doesn't know it, no, right. no, yeah. He's still trying to impress people with this right. shit. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got that uh, <laughs> toilet wine glow yeah. about you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, glow. Yeah. I'm essentially Doc Holiday, just. You know. <laughs> All right, any other fast turns? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here, Why here. Not? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't... I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill the creature for him. Okay. Oh but it's like, I know and that, then I just look back. I know that he needs... No, I, no, I think that he needs a W right now. He does. And so I'm going to I'm gonna hook it up. Uh, yeah. We, we've all heard about it. The, uh, the sword. It's exquisite. It is. We're going to take full advantage. 21? Yes, sir. Nice. You know what? It feels all right. It feels all right. Um, yeah, just give it two, three points of damage. All right, so you move over there and you just slide the blade into the body. Pierce the thing and nice. it dissolves and the bones fall to the ground. Exactly. Yeah, and then that, this is where I look back and I'm like, I, I, I yeah, exactly. <laughs> got him. And I was just like, wow, I, you are amazing. I, yeah. Maybe this. Thing, maybe, maybe this something to this wine. I mean, we'll find out. Yes, yeah, in a second. Right now, I actually just had some, and so I'm like, oh, no more. But you liked it, right? Later, oh yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so we, we've dealt with these skeletoids. Mm. Right, and, the, and as, as this last skeleton, uh, skeleton creature, bone guard, falls to the ground dead. Uh, the ash that and, and that was all inside of the the basin mm. comes swirling up into a, into a cloud and then dissipates. Uh, uh, and then raining the rest of it, the dust raining on the floor around it. However, the bottom of this bowl, there is a uh, there's an a opening. Disc. There's an opening. Oh, really? I wonder if the doors are. Com- I wonder if the doors are all. Uh, I wonder if you're not supposed to go to the doors at all. Here, anyway, here. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down. I'm just gonna go take a look at this disc okay. or this hole. So the hole is wide enough to accommodate you. Uh, oh, so the skull uh, still screaming. Skull, stop screaming. Okay, mm. stop it. Important uh, note. <laughs> How do you do that? Pretty cool. Wine, huh? Yeah. All right, uh, and you see that there is a uh, there is it drops down to a landing, and then the staircase uh, curls down into the darkness. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, even further, further down. down? Mm-hmm. I, I think that this is I think this is what we're supposed to be doing. I'm, Turns I'm gonna... out that second church was built on top of a third church. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, it's like an even weirder one yeah. down there. Yeah. Here, here. So I'm still, I'm still glowing and shining. Okay. All right. We have to drop down <coughs> to a ledge. It's just a, it's a short drop. Is it, uh, can shorties get back up it if they have to? With, uh, if they form a pyramid. <laughs> then um, I'm going to tie a rope to one of the columns. I have rope. Good and thinking. throw a rope. Uh, so that uh, shorties, if they need to retreat, can get back up. Love it. All That's right. smacks of planning. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying. <laughs> Just because so, Pung does what Pung wants yeah, doesn't exactly. mean I don't plan. But, but that doesn't mean that Pung is not deeply pragmatic. Well, that's right. Thank uh, you. Right. Um, and so <laughs> that's amazing. So let, let's head down. Uh, yes. Uh, you're heading down. And, and I, will, I will take the four with my gleaming okay. chain. Got a question coming in. Uh, which book is a fetus metal death thing? Is <laughs> asking for a friend. Uh, t- <laughs> it is an adaptation of the Bone Guard in the core book. Uh, all right, so you start heading down. Lights shining ahead of you, and you're winding down that down this passage. As you get closer, where as you go deeper into the, the 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 complex below, you hear faint chanting that grows louder as you get closer. It's always a good sign. Humanoid chanting. Yes. And now, are there other sources of light? No. Down here, uh, they're not at the, not at first. Yeah, but as you round another corner, because this is big, wide, mm, yeah, you then see that there is some light that grows stronger as you continue yeah, going. Yeah, as, as, as soon as as soon as we can walk safely on this stair, I'm gonna hide. Gotcha. Uh, inside the vestments. Okay. The and light. I can see in the dark. So. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna be sneaky. 
So. You don't have to roll. You're very sneaky. Yep. Uh, so you, uh, I'm gonna, I want to take an action to do shared recovery. Mm-hmm. With, uh, sending who's wounded. I've, I've got, got 10. Okay. I can take your healing rate back. Ooh. Perfect. I feel like a million bucks. Yeah. Feeling great in these shadows. <laughs> All right. So you continue going down the passage, and you, the chanting grows louder, and it seems like someone is desperately praying, uh, and it's, uh, but in, a, in an odd way. Kind of grading language. Okay, so this is, is, this it, is, is it a single person chant? Single person. Okay. So this is this is not the sort of this, this is not my. No, you recognize this dark this. speech. No. Oh. Yeah, and you can make out just a few words of, uh, "Save me, uh, new god! Save me, the one true god! Save me, Diabolus, Lord of Hell, Fetus Lord." Dot com or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's dot org. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to get a couple. Am I familiar with uh, Diabolus? Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, curious though that he would attach it to the new god. Uh-huh. You see this? Oh, oh, oh. Here, all right. H- have I ever have I ever heard anything that would imply there is a her- heretical there's sect? a heretical sect that claims that the new god is nothing more than a mask worn by the, the devil, old god. the devil himself, who rules hell. But that's not true, obviously. Well, of course not. You're a true believer. Yeah. How could that? How look at all the good works you do. It's weird. It's for really people, weird. Honestly, it's weird for people to even say it. Yeah. So, so, but, but I'm not familiar with this dark speech, and so I can't even hear this right. half interpretation. Oh, I'm not telling him. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but, but also, this is, this is it's this is the height of blasphemy for them to be pulling this type of shit down here. Right. All right. Um, so I am I'm formulating a plan. Uh, um, I might engage this terrified priest or follower with some um, intimidating dark speech. Mm. So uh, follow my lead. Yeah, exactly. Just keep me, watch me for the yeah. changes and try to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, t- you lead the way. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go th- in. Uh, the light that's shining is coming from, uh, it's, it, it, there are, well, it's, it's, a weird shape, it's a weirdly shaped room. The walls seem to have been carved, so they look like glistening flesh. Uh, with such detail that even have fine hairs that are coming out of it. Uh, Weird, but it's not? But it's, it, you have to go up and lick it uh, to claim it for your own. I'm not uh, going to. Uh, <laughs> the floor underfoot uh, is kind of rolly and, and mushy almost. Mm. Uh, in the center of the room, on his knees, is a human man dressed in the vestments of a priest, the new god. However, he's got that dinner plate thing that you were looking for fused mm. to his forehead. Oh, it's, oh, 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 weird, weird, weird. Uh, you shouldn't, so, I, oh. <laughs> Hold on, so you're saying that, but it's like bigger than his head. Right. And so it's like out like this? Yep. This is really cool, mm. okay. And you see the symbol that you, that, that, the, the, the winged serpent thing, and it is shining uh, uh, with white, pure light. To, to, I can like in, ripples around it. In terms of iconography, am I drawing some kind of a connection between the winged serpent and then the serpent that is the like? Does it yeah, seem, it does seems it like, seem like it's a, the same mm-hmm. uh, imagery? Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say. Weird. So. Okay. All right. So he's on his knees and he is beseeching uh, the, the devil mm-hmm. to uh, to come to him. No. Is he alone? You don't see anyone else in the room. <laughs> Serve wine off that plate. Right? Listen to this guy. Here, so can I just instantiate a god hammer? Sure. <laughs> Bam! All right, so you're, you've, got your, you've got your god hammer. Yeah, exactly. So in, in dark speech, with all of my gruesome bearing, I will say, uh, <laughs> you have called and you have received. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, know. okay. So he falls back and he throws his hands up. He works in mysterious ways. <laughs> he falls to his knees and says, Are you the vessel holding Diabolus, the Lord of Darkness, the one true God? And to you guys, it just sounds like he's yeah. defecating. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, heads up, I'm playing the avatar of Satan. <laughs> I'm the avatar of Satan. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's me, yeah. yeah. He, drops, he drops putting his, the plate to the floor. Excellent. Uh, and as he does, you give me a perception roll. <laughs> uh, perception, oh, minus one, that's no good. So Just looking a, for a 10. It's like a perception challenge. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I got it. All right, We're good. you see on the back of his robes a hand-shaped depression 
and something, as, and then the weight's being pushed on it. Uh-huh. Uh, and you can just faintly make out whispered words, not what they were. Uh, Somebody I whispering to the whole time to this guy. And his eyes, his head snaps up, plate right. scraping across the floor. Excellent. And his, and he says, "Infidel, heretic." Oh yeah. I cast runic shield. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now I'm going for the invisible. Uh, Do hand. it. All right. <laughs> well, you start. You start barreling towards it. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Fire yep, away. Yep. I'm going to just try. I've got my overbearing charge. Uh, you have three banes of your attack against it because he is uh, invisible. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, just make an attack roll, and then um, uh, we'll see if I... The last has already passed. Do that, all that, of that expired. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll have to recast okay. it. Okay, so One. these are Banes. All right. You... Oof. Yep. Oof. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, so you take the highest Bane? You, you, take, you, you subtract yeah. the highest Bane. Yeah. So I rolled a 14 minus 6. Mm-hmm. Oh. Plus, and, uh, and you got your strength to go on top of it. And my strength is 4, so it's only minus 2. Or my strength is 14. Right. Um, so you get plus 4, so you're at 12, right? Yeah. So it's only minus, yeah. You swing and you catch this thing somehow. <laughs> All right, so give me some damage. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Good. <laughs> you know what? I feel like a million bars. This is great. All right, here, uh, so yeah, cut this thing up. Yeah, okay, so um, total of my attack roll. Uh, yes. Am I still, uh, my attack roll, I don't have to worry about Banes. No, the that Banes only apply to the roll. Yeah, oh, one more. Oof. Done. Thank you. Oh, you're going to like this when it reveals itself. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, 6, uh, 11, 12, plus... I have clear. I need more coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Twelve. 12? Okay. Yeah. All right. You strike this thing, and you see the, the a, a plume of blood comes from this figure, and it, and before it disappears yeah, yeah. into its soaks in, into its body, yeah. you get a vague sense of a humanoid shaped figure. Uh, it will reveal itself very soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anybody else going on fast turns? Well, yeah. yeah I, I feel like I need to smack this thing with that god hammer. You the invisible guy. Uh. Ooh. Or the guy that's got the, the dinner plate in his... Well, I mean, I, I'm here for a specific reason. Yeah. Okay. I'm here for a specific reason. I don't think... Do we care about the, the guy underneath the plate? I, well, no. No. He, he doesn't count. <laughs> he doesn't count. I don't. I'm just going to bring, the, I'm just bring the god hammer like a gong. <laughs> onto the plate? On right the plate? On, just, just, I'm just, just right onto the plate that's attached to his head. Do it. Maybe knock it off? Yeah, well, let's, see what, let's see what happens, right? Um... Inside so the box of the, the skull. The reaver blows his head up. Exactly. So prayer plus uh, the boon from Icon of Faith. Right? So I roll this mm-hmm. and I only add one of the two, one of yeah. the, whatever the highest one is. Uh, 17? 17. That is going to hit him. And you, there's a ringing noise what? as the hammer strikes the plate. It, uh, the plate does not detach, but you can see that uh, the <laughs> impact has cracked some things that probably should not be cracked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... 2d6 on the god hammer. Yep. Um, and then uh, an extra d6 for the icon of faith. Okay. <gasps> two sixes and a two. So 14. Nice. Uh, it almost takes his head right off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, this is a pretty definitive. <laughs> This is a pretty definitive situation. Good show. So that's the God Hammer, which is not even technically my action, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you cast Runic Shield before you even got to this, so you. <laughs> if somebody knows what's up. <laughs> exactly. So I'm gonna hit. Uh, so how how do I use the crossbow? Like, does it, does it take a round to load it? You have to use an action to load it. Oh, okay. So can I use my action to load it here and then shoot it in the slow phase? Uh, no, you have to do it on. You only t- you take your turn at one point during that. Okay. Then let us. I'm just going to load the crossbow. Okay. Crossbow is loaded. Mm-hmm. All right. Anybody else going fast? Going once, going twice, three times. All right. Here we go. First thing first. Uh, this dude. The demon. Uh, he uh, looks at you, being the author of his most recent pain, and he is going to do something fun for you. All right. Uh, all this of a sudden, uh, plate head. Yeah. Yeah, plate head, and he just <laughs> swings his head up to you and starts garbling out this mystic speech. And and, and oh uh, no! And you, uh, your guts start to twist and rumble Ooh. noisily. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, oh this is <laughs> this is about poop, isn't it? This is about. Poop. This is hateful defecation, I believe. Yeah, yeah that is going to be a twelve against your strength. Um, my strength is twelve. Okay, so I got your strength. All right, uh, you've been subjected to the hateful defecation spell. <laughs> uh, you take. Three damage, uh, and you become dazed for one round as your guts violently and spectacularly expel their contents. Uh, if, the, if the damage incapacitates you, you would explode. Uh, so you are just pooping a river of feces and, and blood. And, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm sad. And, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. You just had a tackle belt. Yeah. All right. So that's what's going on in your pants. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you see the figure you struck. Uh, Drop the illusion or the invisibility drops away as it's coming to attack you, uh, and it reveals its true form. For a second, it looks like this beautiful angelic being, but then that all falls away as you see two black pits for eyes and a shrieking mouth and fiery angelic wings as this true angel is coming to mess you up. <laughs> yes. And there's a second one uh, uh, back behind him. So I need all of you guys to see these guys. These are horrifying. Give me a will challenge roll with one bane. Is that oh. a demon, devil, fairy, spirit, or undead? Yep. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> so one bane. Mm -hmm. So, but I get one boon from my conviction, which cancels out the bane. Oh. So I just roll a d20. Yep. I made it. Made it. I didn't. Failed. Uh, this is horrible. Failed. Eight. Failed. All right. So, but I'm already shitting. Like what? <laughs> Gain two insanity. Yes. <laughs> Gain three insanity. Okay. Gain three insanity. Okay. Gain insanity means that for uh, you are frightened for a number of rounds equal to your insanity total. Yeah. Uh, so that's the we count that off at the end of the round, uh, and then which means we also you only go slow, and then you yeah. bangs or rolls. Uh, if your insanity score total reaches your will score. Which yeah. is a parenthetical next to it. You go, <laughs> you go mad. That's enough. And really fun things happen. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that's what happens there. This guy is going to chop you, chop up you, uh, but he can only. Attack. Oh, but not before I go mad, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, there's an order to these things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is a 15 plus three is an 18 defense. You got it. All right. So the sword is uh, blazing. Uh, it does 10, 12, 14 damage, and that is it. All right, I'm and the other one is going to wait till slow before it can take its turn. I'm going to pop something next turn. Okay, slow turns. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move up um, closer, and then I'm going to cast a Battle Prowess on myself. All right. Which lets me roll twice to hit and take the better results, because I... <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so that's slow. That's slow. I've got my last one. He is going, uh, this angel drops his, for, I'm going to talk about that, uh, is going to come forward and strike at you, sir. Me? Yep. I want to see what this, what this, okay. this runic you, protection You take does. a uh, bane because of my um, runic shield. Cool. Okay. Shield. Nice. That is a <laughs> 15 plus 3 is 18. <laughs> So I had the bane, but, but... Well, my defense is 19, so... Oh, I missed. All right. Missed. Yay! Well done. All right. The so blade Smooth. scrapes across your armor. Your, the runes of your shield flare up and redirect the blade. That takes to the end of the round, so that's one round of frighten that goes Ooh. away. Can I do... You can do your... Slow, yes. Slow, uh, Sorry. You slow. should have gone before me. Oh, yeah. My bad. Um, so, it's my fault. Get uh, so I'm just going to start w slowly walking up, like do that slow walk, and while yeah. I'm doing that, I'm forming this ball of shadow in my hand, Turning it into like a, a taffy puller. Yeah, exactly. He's ripping it into a new, a, a spike blade, and shoving it into this uh, angelic thing. Yeah, right yeah. behind. You know, I'm just coming across the plate and uh, hitting the angelic being behind him. All right. And what trickery and dirty tricks? <laughs> oh God, that sucks. That's a twelve. All right, that is uh, hit by one. Oh, okay. And so then it's two, uh, three d six for the penumbral blade plus two plus another. Yeah, you want some more d sixes yeah, here? Try these because I got dirty tricks and dirty trickery. Tricks. Dirty tricks. Whoa, hey. So you got weird over there, but this yeah, is good. Mm -hmm. 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 points of damage. 19. All right, he is injured. 
Nicely Woo-hoo! done. Anybody else going to go? Okay, that's the end of the round. Back to fast turns. All right now, back to fast turns. So I'm going to pop divine aid. Okay. So each creature that I choose within five yards gains a plus fifteen bonus to health. Sweet. So that'll just kind of that's like the crema. Mm. All right, you were dazed for one round, so you, that that's fine. Uh, you're not. You weren't frightened though, were you? Mm-mm. You didn't gain insanity from that. Oh no, I did. I did. I'm totally oh, fine. So, oh, so yes. you're, you get you have to wait till slow before you can fire that spell off. Oh, really? Right, because when you're frightened, you can only go on slow turns. Oh, okay. oh that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, mm-hmm. so uh, hold on to that, that cool idea. That's yeah. perfect. All right, anybody else going up fast? Uh, yeah, I can. Okay, show us how it's done. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make an augmented attack uh, against the fucker that attacked me. Um, so that gives Angel me pants. one boon, and then I'm gonna use prayer for a second boon. And I get to roll twice and take the better results, which nice. is good because I rolled a three. <laughs> oh, improved to a five. <laughs> uh, all right, so that is five plus four is nine plus two is eleven. On the nose. Yeah, I was just gonna say because <laughs> he had twelve yeah. minus one. Wow. Okay. Lucky you. Phew. Yeah. So now, now, now roll big numbers. Yeah. All on right. The square ones. So base yeah. of one. Uh, I get uh, an extra one for battle prowess. How about and prayer? Another one for prayer. Oh. Drop it. Oh, I'm dropping it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. oh, nice. Damn it. Uh, 14, 14 plus 2, 16. 16. All right. Yeesh. You strike this yeah, one. Takes a uh, he warm takes up. a step yeah. back, wipes some blood off his lip, <laughs> and is ready to go. All right. Any other fast turns? Can I get a fast turn in too? Yeah. You do fast or slow each round. Yep. Right. Yeah, I'll do a fast. Do it. Now, the penumbral blade uh, goes away, right, after you use it once? I think so. Well, yeah, does it have a duration it, listed? Is it? Uh, no, there's no duration, but there's just the one box next to it, so I'm guessing it okay. goes away. Yeah, if you, okay. yeah. yeah, let's see what happens. So, uh, well, it remains for one minute. Yeah. Oh, for one minute. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. yeah. Well, it's in the middle of the paragraph, right? So right. that's like six. <laughs> it's, you know, you have six uses. Six rounds, uses. Yeah. 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 Okay, so. You can do it. Let's see what happens. Now, can I use the triggered action? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's that's still okay. So I could give him a boon. Yep. Which would give him an extra d6 if he hits. Yep. Here, so you should... Is it two hit or on a two, hit? Two hit and. Oh, and damage? Yeah. Go, sure. Prayer is good. Woo! Woo! I.E. Woo! I'm going to exploit that opportunity. <laughs> 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 Woo! 25. Yeah. 25 all day long. Base. Yep. So. Okay. So, 2d6 plus a... Another d6 plus another 2d6 for <laughs> trickery. Yeah. But I don't get the extra boon for damage, right? Yes. Boons don't normally do damage, yeah. but prayer, prayer gives you. Oh, special. prayer does. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. 14, 15, 16. Was that 24? 24 plus another 2. No, 20, 23, 26, 27. You That's annihilate this guy. You're, it's 25 total. You're, the penumbral blade slides through its body. Uh, its black pits for eyes widen. It screams in your face, and it's this rank smell of, of just kind of rotting teeth. Is it fetid? Is it fetid? It's fetid. Oh. It's fetid. <laughs> uh, and then it, then it just disintegrates uh, as it falls back into hell. All right. Uh, there's only one of these guys <laughs> left, plus Big Scary. Any other fast turns? One, not Big Scary, but the, the, the cultist dude. Played head. Playhead. 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 Yeah. All right, Playhead is going to go in fast <laughs> because we're going to show off another hilarious forbidden spell because <laughs> why not? It's the whole section. It's a whole tradition that's dedicated to really gross things. Uh, yeah, I like that spell a lot. All right, <laughs> so um, you, ma'am, oh! uh, hungry maggots fill your belly. Oh, uh, no. And you automatically take six damage from the maggots that are chewing their way out of you. At the end of each round for the duration, the target must make a strength challenge roll, and on a failure, you take damage and become impaired for one round, and a success has no effect. The third success, however, you vomit a knot of squirming maggots, and the effect ends. Gross. <laughs> You're Gross. welcome. All right, that's what he does. Uh, the last angel who's alive is going to be the one you were fighting, and he's going to attack you. One boon for the... Uh, one Bane. Bane, rather. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to actually split this attack, so I'm going to do uh, two attacks. So one for you, and then one for you. Cool. All right, so on you, it's only one boon. That is a miss. And then the one on you there, kitten. 
Let's see what you get. Uh, that is a 15 plus, three is 18 defense. Yep. All right, you hit this Radiant Blade, uh, pass into your body for a mere nine and damage. Nice. Right, Cowards! So don't, for, don't, forget that, don't forget that 15 sitting on top. So for the next hour, our hit points are 15 minutes, for 15 mm -hmm. points more. All right, well, that's it's, good. It's, <laughs> no turns. No, no, prayer is awesome, but yeah. it doesn't do that to you. Um, so on, let's see, on slow turns, yeah, Divine four. Aid is when I kick it out. Right, Divine Aid comes on, so your health jumps. Woo. Oh. Okay. Everyone's happy, all right. And anybody great. else going on slow? Any other frightened people? I'm done being frightened. Yeah, uh, you're uh, or, last or, round. or uh, in, insane insanity. Yeah, insanity uh, just tells that's your that's your timer for how long you're frightened, but you can act now. Okay. You just have a bane in all your rolls. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna do some brutal recovery. Yeah. Okay. That's kind yeah. of important. Yeah, yeah. So now that it's a slow turn, I did divine aid. Can God Hammer go? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm still, I'm still getting, I'm getting a sense of the, of how the, the turns function. So, but I'm afraid, so I have a bane. Correct. Okay. But I have two boons, one from uh, Icon, Icon of Faith right. and Prayer. Yep. So, I really only have one boon. You got it. You're cooking with gas. Oh, hey. Woo. That's 20. That's a hit, and that is a hit by five. Yay. Nice. Uh, so, that's really good news for that spell, because that means that I roll 5d6. Mm -hmm. Which is great news. Here we go. Hey. 12, 17, 18. He is injured. All right. What you got there, Pung? Uh, well, I have healed damage. Right. And that uh, gives me a triggered action. Yep. For my surging violence. Make it happen. To chop. Yes. So I will make that attack. She's just going to start yelling out. Surging violence at home now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So uh, I've got a boon and a bane. So, so they cancel they out. Cancels yeah. out. Just twenty. Woo! Let's do that. Eighteen. Uh, okay. Plus your strength. It's a hit by yeah. five, so you get extra d six damage. I have trouble reading that die from yeah. the, the the black one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yes. So you got the extra damage. So go for uh, it. Excellent. So that's How five. How many is it? Five d six. Five d six. Six d six for my um, uh, brutal recovery. I, all my uh, mm -hmm. weapons well, do uh, yeah, an extra d six. Probably it for, so, for this. I like that this is part of the healing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> no, no, exactly. it's, it's, it's part of the healing help. process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We can do you better. So this is that. Oh shit! All right, so that's uh, all right. Meh. In man, you get two. Six, <laughs> oh, wait a second, that's more than good. Yeah. Uh, six, 12, um, uh, 18, 19, 24. Enough. All right. <laughs> you chop it in half, and he also starts screaming as he goes back to hell. Uh, the walls uh, at this point lose their stony quality and become fleshy, uh -huh. and the ground underfoot becomes spongy, and in where you step, and you lift up, there is this kind of white depression as if all the blood is forced uh, away. Uh, like uh, rest. But there is one guy left standing, and that will it, it, it just have to pry that plate from his head. Yeah, mm. exactly. Uh, any other slow turns? If not, we're at the end of the round. Uh, brings us back to fast turns. Mm. Yeah, so we got, so, I mean, did we leave the box? We probably left the box up in the... <laughs> The lead the box. box is up there, I'm sure. You don't want to carry it all the way down these stairs. Oh, who would want to do that? <laughs> no. Exactly. So I, I'm fine if the head comes with the plate. Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right. Fantastic. Mm. Well, yeah, but, sadly, I forgot to use my divine smite against the thing I could use it against, oh. which is all dead now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, well, man. You can do it for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Do, do I think I could use the disc um, of Ancelith? Maybe. Ooh. Sure. That's what I'm going to do. Because this this whole thing, I mean, he's clearly made a mockery of the whole fucking thing. So well, yeah, he's specifically he's, instructed to not use it though. Yeah, but it's about <laughs> yeah. the principle of the thing, and so he's the principle he's, of he's, doing what you're instructed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> they're all I don't, like guidelines. I don't, I don't, they're loose guidelines. Yeah. Um, so this is absolutely it. It's just it's all proclamations. I'm gonna build it into my denounce. All right. I think. Are you gonna denounce the plate? Well, him. I'm basically going to grab this plate 
and just try to get it off. You okay. Don't but, this but, to but as part of this, like, denounce action, just seems fun. Sure, I'm on board. All right. Uh, so go ahead and make the denounce roll. Mm hmm. So it is a will attack. Mm hmm. So it's a d20 plus a will. Uh, no, Ag I, and against his will, right? Yes, against his will. Uh, here we go. Boop. 14. 14. You got him. Uh, he is now frightened for one round. Perfect. So I'm just going to wrench this disc. Give me a strength roll. Off of him. So I should just roll this plus mm -hmm. the strength. 13. All right. You get your hands on it, and it peels off like an old scab. <laughs> uh, and it tears away, revealing the naked bone. His body flops to the ground and doesn't move. But you've got the plate in your hand. As you're holding it, you see reality all the way around it. Seems to bend and wiggle and writhe. Yeah, I'm 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 doing exactly what I was sent here to do, and it feels great. <laughs> it feels great. So yeah, uh, I, I just say we're done here. Yeah, we'll be done when we put it in, in the, the box. box. <laughs> put it in the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we have a, we have a lot of stairs to go up. We do. There's two whole sets. We got go. a rope too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we. Are you good with knots, Pung? Sure. Why don't you tie up a little knot around this disc, and we'll just carry it behind us like a dog. <laughs> I love that. Like idea. an evil pet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sure, works for me. I realize now, having touched it, that I shouldn't touch it all the time. <laughs> you do feel kind of uh, murdery right now. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Not too much, but like, not, not yeah. nothing. Yeah, just the idea of just strangling people, kind of. It's like Viagra for the soul. I'm, I'm looking around right. and I just see a lot of necks. I'm like, mm. <laughs> I have a fine cloak with Mine? me. We're going to wrap that up in my fine cloak. Okay. And we're going to tie it up mm -hmm. and nobody's touching it. All and right. We'll carry that up to the. Yeah. That is actually. Look at what I do for you, people. No, that is a cool image. Mm. Honestly, like, Pung with like, it's like the nice, it's like, this is the nicest dressed thing here. Is this evil disc, <laughs> but just like over the shoulder yeah. with the rope and the like the uh, cross yeah. rope? I don't know. I'm glad you like it. MVP. <laughs> All right, yeah, for sure. All right, so you managed to get the stairs. Nothing stops you. You managed to put it in the box. Mission accomplished. And All we've been right. gaming for over two hours. I it think feels, we're there. It feels great. Feels great. Yeah. 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 yeah, it feels great here. So, so hook me up. Tell me more about. Uh, tell me anything that I need to know uh, about Shadow of the Demon Lord that you think is cool. Um, that other people should know as well. I think that the, the main thing is that it's a, it's a game that's really easy to pick up. Uh, it doesn't take very long to learn. I and mean, we were playing with probably middle of the road as far as uh, oh, complexity. Yeah, I was going to say, this is right at six. Yeah, so, so you've got to, it gets a little bit more complex, but the idea is that you're getting something new every time you play the game. Because your, your group's oh, getting right, leveled. Because you're leveling right. each time. So you're always, so the, what the game teaches you when you have your starting characters, you've got nothing on your sheets except for basically a name and an ancestry. Right. And so you're just running around oh. trying to survive. So when you make your first choice as a novice, you get some extra toys to play with. And then your next level let your group you get a little few more. I see. And it so, teaches mastery of the game as you go. Well, yeah, because I don't have a lot of crazy stuff on here, but there's some sophisticated stuff, but I would never I wouldn't have had things like this at the beginning. Right. right. No, that's all I'd be adding this like one die or one boon at a time mm -hmm. as right. I start to play the character. Uh, I think you should show off your character sheet because it's so pretty oh, and, right. you know, different. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so this is the character sheet that comes oh, with the fine. game. What? Oh, that's super that's fun. Super Here, I can, I can actually. It's show so yeah. evocative of the whole yeah, exactly. thing. Yeah, I love. I love what he did there. That's fantastic. Yeah. Is that visible in there? Yep. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We, we just we just put our we just put anything inside the boxes and the cameras catch it. And look at so novice expert master. <laughs> like you're going through every. Uh, yeah, through through all the different rings. Yeah. Okay, so there's a there's a whole. Yeah, this, this is, is fantastic. This is metal. Isn't that, yeah, it's so and, cool. And with the reason why we went with the design was if you want to keep your numbers in the center of the sheets, that's where you keep all your most pertinent right. information, and then you just, my vision was always that you'd kind of be scrolling out like a page of a grimoire yeah. your, mm -hmm. by the time you reach your maximum level. That's yeah. it right here. So is there, but there's other books and stuff. So you have the Kickstarter. Right. Which Shut, we've, had, we've had the link up. Yeah. That's the uh, occult one, Occult right? philosophy. And that uh, that book adds uh, over 800 spells to the game. Uh, Jesus! And, right. Uh, it also gives you rules for paying, playing beyond level 10. Mm -hmm. They're really simple rules, but they kind of act like um, every time your group level gets higher, you get an extra widget. But it also unlocks up to rank 10 spells. So if you want to put a second sun in the sky, if you want to... <laughs> Kill all the people over the age of 13 in a city <laughs> and render anyone younger than that sterile or barren. 
You can do that. Uh, Jesus. Yeah, it's it's loaded with awesome evil goodness. So, but there's a bunch of other expansions and like other worlds and ways to play. Is yeah, there one of those that you like. What, what's your favorite one of those? My favorite's probably Hunger in the Void. Uh, it mm. is uh, the big book about demons and cults. Uh, I remember working on that book. I had to. I would get so far and then offend myself so badly <laughs> that I would have to leave and Just drink it off. Just stop and come yeah. back. Yeah, and was like, I gotta, I, I'm done. Yeah, I can't believe I wrote that. But it uh, gives you tables for building random demons and it gives you a bunch of demonic talents. So you can make them even more flavorful and an individual, an individual uh, a bunch of cults and player it's options. It's a good peripheral for yeah, it's, this sort of spookiness. It's really the the, the, the darkest of the, of the other products. Exquisite Agony is another one about hell and devils. <laughs> and just It's loaded with... Exquisite Agony. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, I find what's great about the way Rob supported this is that there's tons and tons of adventure support. There's like oh, literally it, oh, just scores, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. scores of these sh short yep. PDF adventures. Um, so you know it, you, you're not on the hook for um, for making it up. You got plenty of options right. for that. So that's we, balling. Well, we have that's a two great. two campaigns for the game uh, right now: Tales of Demon Lord and Queen of Gold. And the adventures for these are just bare bones structures. There's enough that you can run off the page. Yeah, but it keeps your prep time to 15 minutes, and then you only have an adventure that lasts. Two to four hours, yeah. and th then that kind of fits oh, in. With the whole and, and that would be one of your whole levels. Yeah, that's a whole level. Right. That's yeah. really great. Okay, all right. It's not, it's not a two-year campaign. No, see, literally just that every makes time sense yeah. to me. Uh, yeah. I want to thank a smart fella. Oh no, no. Guy. yeah, this this dude. Yeah. I want to thank Nicole, and Chris, uh, and Eric, uh, and Rob Schwab. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Oh man, it was an absolute blast. Thanks, thanks for, for letting us sit in. No, 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 it was our great pleasure. Thanks for bringing. Uh, this cool stuff. This is Shadow of the Demon Lord. Uh, in the channel, you will see a link to uh, the the expansion currently on Kickstarter. Eight hundred spells seems like a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> the most I've ever done of anything like, it, of its kind. Yeah. It seems like a lot. Uh, thanks so much for rolling through uh, chat, and we'll see you next time.